Ah, oh, Jim Mosh Sinchi. Just get one on for a few more world quests. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which means going on and exploring a few more caves. I think. Hmm. All right. Hmm. There we go. Find the rewards. Um, the dailies first. Ah, we got the cat one again. I wonder if that will allow me to complete that achievement because they did say that achievement related commissions were going to become more common. Hmm. Alright. Let me reclaim that real quickly. There we go. Alright, alright. Over these rewards, we will do Lantern Rite at a later date. So what this means is that we got 10 of those right now, 15 later, which means that I already got effectively 20, 20, about 40 rolls for Chiori already in the pipe. Alright. Mm. Just put one away right now, but all of these are gonna go into forming some materials for Zhao and Farazan's talents. Because I will be using a Zhao team and a with Farazan on it in Abyss next week. Okay. Mm-hmm. Got some plants. Okay. Let's just fuck around up here. Go up. Do that and immediately. It's not very close to immediately grab it and take it. Okay. And here we got Swift Slayer. I think Xion Yun should be able to do this. Help out a little by getting the burst up and then having Gomming do the rest. Maybe. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Alright, alright, alright. Punch down here. Going to. Do it like this. There we go. Okay. Now, when you come here, plunge, plunge. Okay. Someone will come up next, and you, hi, and okay. There we go, and we didn't need that. Okay, alright. That's all done. Then we have Mushroom Knocking Commission. Okay. Pretty simple. Huh. Back down over here. This will be faster, I'm pretty sure. Because as nice as Quad Retainer is for getting around, it's mostly when more terrain differences. Okay. Come on, come on. We'll have Gaming come back out to play. Oh well. Oh, two of, oh, two of those. Well, I was not fast enough that time. Come on. Yeah. Oh. And oh, lots and lots of these. There we go. That was impressively fast. Okay. In that case, I will go back over to the cat place. And hop right over the umbrella. There we go. Meow. Kittens normally respond off today. Okay, names in the language of cats in our language. Showing myself for serious question, leave it to me. In the language of cats. Okay. Just how to talk to cats. Nico, it's language, not cat talk. To cat, unique ways for cats. A few cities. Same problem. Thank you. Line of cat language. Nargis. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, so we've already gotten, gotten this version of the commission. So nothing new today. Well, time to go find it. 
Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Now we are falling to Earth. Somewhere around here. So, which direction do- oh, right here. Okay. Hmm. Let's do this. This works out, and sure is heavy. Hmm. A job for a glutton. Go back to Sare. Okay. Either way, I should be able to get around four or so. That would mean I need from Lantern Right for Zhao's books. That would mean 50 or so of the Gold Prosperity books. Maybe. We'll see. Help in the future. Okay, not a cat. We're together. There we go. Go in, go to commission rewards. We plant our plants, I would say. Hmm. Yes, go back to Chenyu Vale? Maybe. So I would say I might like to do my bounties. My request right now, but the thing about that is the main reason I want to do that is to get a little bit of extra mora. The next thing I'm gonna be spending more on is just Zhao and Farzan talents and Farzan leveling. So I and I won't need that until next week to run them in Abyss. So I don't know. I really don't know. Hm. We are eating through our seeds. Okay. More fruit down, not in a lot of Marcotti. Hmm. More fruit for spice, I suppose. Okay. Hmm. Go collect our trust rank. Alright. Hmm. Another reward for getting a bit more realm currency. Okay. Hmm. Alright. So either I go and maybe I could just run the domain a few times. Let's get that out of the way. Maybe. So going over and getting Oh, but it's not today. Oh! Hajime Mostenchi Clownery O Academy P. I'm just doing some world quests. Or at least I'm about to go do them. So over here. Hello! How are you doing? Having a nice day? Uh, like I said, I'm just trying to continue the Chen Yu's offering of Sunken Jade World Quest Line, which does mean I'll be... Oh, thank you. Are you an artist, or...? Okay. Well, this is the team I was using to try to showcase. I'll try to test for myself how good Scaramouche was with my Farzan. Who I've been trying to level up now that I've gotten her C6. To be fair, that was actually a while ago. Fair, fair. I don't know how to draw at all. I'd kind of like to, in the hopes of maybe giving myself a bit of an upgrade, because what I have right now is just a free Vroid model. And, you know, I would like to eventually give myself a bit of an upgrade. We'll see. But thank you, I really do appreciate that. But... But, you know... In the end, like I said, I'm sure that no matter how bad you think you are, you're probably better than me. So, don't talk down about yourself. Sacrifice of Sacred Brocade, a ritual that will heal the land of Chen Yu Chen Yu Vale. Okay, so right here, that cave over there. Just gonna keep launching between these fish. Oh, what do you mean by that? Do you have a friend who's also kind of self-deprecating in that regard? Okay, you know what? We're right here right now. I may as well pick up this and try to get that chest. So here while we weren't looking, well, I'm pretty sure he's a swanee. Lots of monsters ahead. Go up and look. Okay, did we get... Oh, interesting. Well... Okay, so we did get that fast enough. So I guess these lanterns didn't unlight as quickly as some of the other ones. Okay. Lopan. I want to see... Oh, okay. So the quest is just continuing. 
You can buy mon. Look out behind you. Oh. Oh, monster's coming. Oh, just the swanee. Your friend, you say. Yeah. Well, like I said, not to beg too hard, but I do have an art tag on Twitter. So if you have any interest in showing me how good of an artist, you're not, artist you are, you have a way. <laughs> no pressure. Friend, and yet in the swanee. A lot of friends, so... Have you played the new update yet? Either way, this is the new boss, I believe. I think it, the orange markings might be a little different. I'm not entirely sure. Frankly, every time I fought it, I was a little too busy. Oh, nice! Yeah, I used her in Abyss a few days ago. Because... Happy for you, by the way. How are you trying to build her? But, as I was saying... My personal goal is to collect all the characters and build them all. So... I can use them in Abyss when they're on Banner. Because Abyss lineups are typically oriented to an extent around the Banner 5 stars. So I used a... Gaming and Xion Yun Plunge team on one side. And an Alhitha and Nikita Hyper Bloom team on the other. And so next week, I'm going to be trying to use a Zhao Farzan Plunge team on one side. Well, with Xion Yun, of course. And then a Yai Nikita on-field aggravate team. Oh, Gilded. So do you run her on-field? Or do you run her off-field? Friends, didn't I? Got a hold of her to introduce to you. Ah, there we go. Hello. It's the Swanee. Friends of Little Mouse. Paimon and Eigen. Not talking. Afraid of strangers. Bluey. I don't really know her name. Heard about that? Great people? I might venture. So, okay, so he's not actually a swanee. I thought he might have been because of the markings, but I guess he's just a feral child? Oh, interesting. Huh. Yeah, I don't have Neelu, so I'm not too familiar with her comps. So who, who holds Deepwood on that team? Who holds Deepwood on that team? What's that team comp in general? Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah, I... Neil is one of the characters I definitely regret not getting. Because on that patch... When she first came out, I got Sino instead. And Sino's fun to use, but he's not as strong. He's got a lot more competition. Oh, nice, nice. There you go. Mountains and Forest, too. So... Who's the fourth member of that team? Do you use Kokomi? The thing of the power to suppress nature. Suppress. Pursue the sunlight and fertile soil. Fruit fit for the birds and beasts to consume. Digested seeds are scattered. Consume seed and fruit. Become bait for predators. Everything returned to the land. Preventing something from returning to the land. Okay. Yeah, I don't have Kokomi either. I really need to get her the next time she comes around. Just because that would get me closer to making an eventual Ayaka Freeze team too. Oh, nice. Yeah, Nilu. no one expected her to be as good as she ended up being. And I think some of that was maybe just because when Nilu got released, they also patched the glitch that allowed Barber to create a crazy amount of bloom cores. Branches, fish in the mountains, beasts of the forest, realm of nature is wonderful, so why have you come? The snake would be Chongsheng. Fish would be Fujin, and the beasts would be probably the Swanee and the Shuanzhou beasts? be so fierce raise two questions adeptal energy from fusion nurse the soil and water adeptal energy we oh so we answer both of them either way conditions and what's our health tea leaves and worse and worse the village might decline fair oh wow so did you try to get the four star fontaine hp percent sword is those, that one and key are literally the only two HP percent swords, period, if I recall correctly. The ranger to restore the area. Right, two of my questions ask me to also. Ah, so, I wouldn't say sphinx-like, but it's very folktale-like. Give and take, only natural. One more question! <laughs> it's like that joke about a lawyer charging three dollars for three questions. Yeah. Yo. Two people are on an airplane. One turns to the other and says, What do you do for a living? Replies, Oh, I'm a lawyer. The other one says, Okay, so what's your rate? The lawyer replies, 
$5,000 for three questions. Other person says, did those count? Lawyer says, pay up. Oh, oh wow. 75k? But at that point, wouldn't you want to maybe change around the artifacts so you weren't breaking 75k? Okay, so if you broke 75k, you would nothing past that would be bonus. I guess if you have constellations, you could maybe if you had your if you had her C6, I guess you could do it by just getting crit and crit damage on her. Counted exactly. It's a liar joke. Do you know Fujin? I do know Fujin. Your Sisolan water, Tealings, and Chowing Village recover their original flavor. Tastes better more like before. Oh, so this is a fight between human standards and natural standards. Interesting. Man versus nature. Yeah. And that's kind of what I was thinking, because for a while I had sacrificial fragments on Nahida, even though Witseth is technically better. I've been using Witseth lately, although I'll be putting fragments back on her so yeah, I can use Witseth when I run them next week. But, as I was saying... It's kind of a question of, do you want the absolute maximum for that specific amount of their stats, or maybe to redistribute and something that would be a little less immediately useful, but at least not go over cap? It's a trade-off. It's always a trade-off. It's all about trade-offs. I think it depends on the kind of team you're using her on, because I think Sacrificial is better on Bloom teams, but... Witseth is better on teams where she can trigger spread reactions just because, you know, crit isn't going to be all that relevant unless she's triggering reactions. Because her basic damage without reactions is basically nothing. That she's gone. Don't worry about it. Banished in the shadow of the trees might dazzle me. Birds might call overhead. And there she is. So a little bit, a bit like Zhao, I guess, but more natural. Guess we're all friends now. Let's hope so. Don't worry about it. Not big on politeness. It's always been like that. Pretty strange. Well, for burning and bloom reactions, she does need that to crit. And the crit damage isn't something related to stats. It's a set 20% rate and 100% crit damage. But spread reaction, spread and aggravate can always crit because there are additive bonuses to basic, you know, normal attacks that do an application. It seems strange to others. Adeptal energy to make the boss disappear, appear and vanish. Carp and fly around like in the stories. And master, you've got nothing. We are not Xin Zhao. Imagine friend he always spoke of. Monster, a bit rude thing, offensive. Blue, color bluey. Friends, they might lock me up. Actual prison? Wouldn't let me go out, wash my face, read my books, play in the mountains anymore. There's only one fond come with me. Awesome place I'd love to show you. Okay, I need to take a quick bathroom break. I'll be right back. I'll stay in chat.
Oh, right, the Rostam stuff, yeah. One of the most interesting things about that is that I cannot find... Go on. Cannot find any information about whether Rostam... Because that... It was either the Bloodstained Knight or Rostam. It was one of those, but... One of those Mondstadt guys is named Rostam, who shares a name with a hero from... Iranian mythology, but I cannot find any information on whether he shares that name in the original Chinese and the more direct, more closer to Chinese Japanese translation, because there were some things, especially early on in the localization, which were changed around. But one thing people talk about in connection with that is essentially the question of, you know, when Senora re-encounters Venti... At the end of the Mondstadt Archon quest, you know, obviously she knows. She does not like Venti because he, through an action, let her boyfriend go off and get killed because he was just sort of, Cataclysm, not my problem. I'm gonna go to sleep and maybe let my dragon handle some things. <clears throat> exactly. And, but that's exactly why a lot of people... Say, bless you, say that there's this personal hatred because he was just slacking. That, you know, he could have, as a literal god, protected a lot of monsta besides, but decided to just do nothing instead. When most of the other Archons at least did something. Venti was conspicuously inactive. But the question is, you know, did Venti feel guilty? Is that why he never tried to really fight back? Because, you know, he could have. You know, he says he's the weakest, but he's still a god. And to be frank, most, a lot of people, myself included, don't entire, entirely believe him when he says he's just weak. But, yeah. But he explicitly says that he is the weakest of the seven because he does not rule over the, over his own nation which for what it's worth that measurement and source of archon power is contradicted by some other sources i don't precisely recall which but it's at least contradicted so he's not exactly a reliable narrator yeah yeah there's a reason a lot of people call him the Sus Archon, but essentially, if he knew, if he recognized Senora as Rosalind and knew what his own inaction wrought, you know, did he give up his gnosis or choose not to fight back out of guilt that per paralyzed him or influenced his action? Well, Nahida knows more than she lets on in the sense of. You know, she got information on, quote-unquote, the sky being fake from Detore, but her intentions aren't suspicious. I think there's a difference between information and intention here, because Nahida has only really ever been on our side. She's never really been using any of... using us. But... It's just sort of, you know, who knows what... Okay, so how many of these do we have to actually knock out? You know, who knows what Venti actually wants? Fair. I... Okay. Okay, over there. How many of these do we need to... Oh, good lord. Let's get you... Come on. Is this gonna expose the core? This will expose the core. Okay, Hydro Samatrol, Miasma, Infested Monster. Come on. Okay, so that's simple enough. Go past these guys and take them all away. Yeah. I mean, I think at this point... I would have a hard time believing that... The Saritza... Is anything worse than an anti-villain or anti-hero. Because... The Every little bit of Fatui lore has been about simultaneously opposing Celestia and the Abyss, who are at the very least suspicious. 
even if the means they've used to do such have been morally questionable. Yep. And even so, most of that is just Dottore, who seems to be, you know, the designated pure evil member of the Fatui. And also the previous knave, the previous successor of Arlecchino. I don't necessarily agree with that. Amazing. I think... Green Moss over this point is time to use that again. There's a strong chance that Murata is dead and there isn't a Pyroarchon, because very specific specifically and conspicuously, Nuvia does not mention an Archon when talking about Nalan. He only mentions Capitano in Dragons. That said, I feel like there's a strong chance that we'll bring back the Pyro Archon or find someone to become a new one, given that the chapter title of Notlon for literal years has been Incandescent Ode of Resurrection. You know, and it would be funny, because Murata is a reference to Murata Himeko, who is a, you know, kind of a stock Hoyoverse character from various Honkai games, like Third and Star Rail. And in third, her entire, well, and I think in second too, maybe, though I'm not all that familiar, the entire deal with her is that she dies. So it would be funny to reverse that by making her whole deal in Genshin, well, her sort of Genshin equivalent's whole deal being coming back to life. Maybe. But I feel like just from a marketing and profit standpoint, they would never sacrifice the ability to have a rollable Archon. Yeah, and I think, I don't think they would do two Resurrections. I think we'll probably either get a Resurrection of Murata or a Resurrection of Senora. Or maybe Senora could get Resurrection later, but... And people have said this, and I do agree, that as soon as you have Resurrection in a piece of media, death becomes cheap. Because it never seems final anymore. And I do think, I do feel like... Senora's whole plotline with every, with butterflies and all and reappearing leaves room for her to maybe get resurrected. And as someone who liked her character, I wouldn't hate it. I think it's the most satisfying they could do with, with her narrative right now. But I feel like what they should have done was just not kill her off cheaply in the first place to make Raiden seem strong. Because they killed her off to hype up Raiden in a way that was not a particularly satisfying conclusion to her plotline. And in the end, I would have ultimately be fu been fine with them just killing her off and not making her playable if she had stuck around a bit longer. Because she was sort of a representation of the Saritza, while not being the Saritza in the sense of, you know... Icy, cold character, ice attacks, noble woman, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, it's... I do not think Senora could become Murata. Because Murata is an established character and kind of character. That doesn't look anything like Senora. I mean, in the end, I guess anything is possible, but still. Okay, so we can see this other part of the jade. Yeah, but I agree. It was not necessary for her to kill Senora to hype her up in terms of strength. Yeah, it's... There's enough already. It was kind of the icing on the crap cake of the questionable Inazuma plotline. I'll say that much. But... In the end, I find it hard to believe that they won't make the Unknown Goddess sustain her void shade whatever you want to call her playable given that she's literally kiana so i feel like the goal of a traveler in the end will not be to identify the one person who's really the villain and beat them up but to beat everyone up enough so they stop fighting and then force them to basically negotiate a settlement well i guess it depends on your definition of alive Maybe not physically, but she's her consciousness still exists in the plane of Euthymia. She can take over the puppet whenever she wants. I think wasn't that the kind of kind of the point of her second story quest that you know she had the shogun basically as regent, 
Yeah. But that's what I mean, is that... She's disembodied, but she's not dead. Guess we could get all philosophical about what it means to be alive or dead. Smoky cloud. Smoky cloud? Isn't there yesterday what they call nature? Ah, so it's sort of atavism. It's nature trying to grow back over human civilization. But as I was saying, what I think is... And if you look at the lore of some of the later Sumeru artifacts, they talk about how Celestia dropping the nails was not really to destroy civilization, but to basically stop the abyss from surging up. So it's not a matter of one side being evil and one side being good, but a matter of various competing and at least seemingly incompatible interests. And yeah, I feel like... if you're Are you familiar at all with Toho? Because this is a really weird and obscure reference. But there was a Toho fan game called Unbreakable Chain, which was sort of a duo-based beat-em-up. And one of the bosses in this, it wasn't an official game, it was an indie game, sort of an indie game, rip-off, derivative work. And one of the bosses of the game was actually two characters fighting each other. And you had to basically, both of them were hitboxes, and the goal was basically to beat them up while they focus on each other, basically not even knowing you're there. And I feel like they might end up making some kind of Abyss Kaya versus Delusion Diluc trance domain or something. I do feel like Diluc having access to a delusion and having used it in the past is a Chekhov's gun, which is waiting to fire. But like I said, I think that, and especially given that in a game like this, the more characters you make sympathetic, the more characters they can make you roll for. They never specifically say that, and the comic and the game actually differ on whether Crepus succumbed to his injuries or whether Diluc literally had to do a mercy kill. But either way, I don't think they explicitly say that Diluc killed him with the delusion. Just that he used it as a weapon when he went and tried to invade Znizai, if I recall correctly. <clears throat> because... He left his vision behind in Dawn Winery, and I don't think he would have tried to go against the entirety of the Fatui with only a sword. Maybe. But, like I was saying, it's sort of a dualism sort of thing, where the problem is not one side is good and the other side is evil, but more the human realm and Celestia and the Abyss are all sort of mutually incompatible. You know, what kind of productive peace can be found? Oh my goodness. That's awful. Hello, Trolls. Even all this picture about... No, either today, Fujin's story happened before the mural on Mount Lingmeng was made. Ah, long ago, talked to the gods and Adeptite. Big piece of jade in the skies. So very clearly, they're using Adeptite as a stand-in for celestial envoys. Hmm... Which is why I'm pretty sure, and I don't know yet, and I don't want to know before I find out here, but I'm pretty sure that the fish adeptus fusion, because Paimon explicitly says that she does not seem like the other adepti, is just an, a celestial envoy. I, I like it. It's natural character development. And frankly, I think the most abnormal they ever were... They got really, really mean in Inazuma, especially in some of the world quests. I'm mean, sorry, the gods, shiny golden person, so... Oh, yeah, oh, actually, so yeah, it would be something from Celestia. So, the Battle Pass Catalyst, the new one, which is normally used for Nuviet, I at least use it for Nuviet, talks a lot about Shiny Veil, especially connected to Celestia, if I recall correctly. But, Big Sis Fujin changed, lost their emissary, couldn't talk to the heavens, Rain Jade Wright came about. Yeah. But it just reminds me of the whole sort of Noel Mika controversy. Sort of in the sense that, you know, even though Noel was explicitly romantically interested in the Traveler, you know, the Traveler only cares about getting his family, his or her family back. So, you know, as a character, they would inevitably decide to basically abandon everyone, abandon most people in the world with ties to them, even if that isn't what, you know, a quote unquote self insert would do. I do like that they're having the Traveler speak more directly. You know, actually say things and have voice lines more often. Because it 
has oh sacrificial jade not solar pearl not the kunwa one but if they're gonna have the traveler make decisions that a player probably would not if they were put into this world it's good that they're giving the traveler more voice lines and making them more of a character distinct from the player especially because in my opinion the traveler is actually one of the more difficult characters to self-insert into anyway because, to be frank, a human with powers is a lot less different from, you know, a standard player than an immortal space god who travels between worlds, even with the whole is arguable isekai aspect. Sense, what do you think? Pretty bright spark, distinct possibility. Interesting. Think about it, amazing themselves, powers to restore nature. Smaller time than the present, world marches on for it, been constantly in decline. Guys, are we Whigs or are we Tories? <laughs> okay, let's say this. Accumulated detritus of the past in its wake. Not about this in the way. Amazing one. Objects, puzzles, mysterious powers, and monsters. Considered this stuff before. Interesting. You should. I would say that he's definitely one of the most overpowered characters in the game right now. And it would be kind of hard for them to make him not good, other than just adding a bunch of enemies with Hydra immunity. Because he functions best as more of a reaction driver, I would say. His application isn't amazing, but it's too high to really be good at something like Forward Vaporize. But his damage, even without reactions, is really good. Wait, what weapon? Prototype Amber or his own Catalyst? Pretty awesome, too. And just having fun adventuring. Stupid as a compliment, big sister. Not blood related. We're here in a while. Mountains run around the river. Small herd in this little cave together. What happened to her? Oh, Tome of the Eternal. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Did he get Homa, too, or Rubicon? Oh, my goodness. The sister is Alice. Okay, so Rubicon is, it's a river in Rome that Julius Caesar crossed when he became dictator. When he crossed the Rubicon, he was basically declaring his intention to take over Rome. And there's exactly one other mention of it in the game in connection with Alice, Klee's mom. In the chasm, which was two years ago at this point, one of the various scientists, I believe, there mentioned Alice coming there and mentioning... It was Jikyong. It was Jikyong. She met Alice, and Alice said that something mentioned of the Rubicon is a crossing point. Okay, so what on earth would Alice have been doing here? She has got her fingers in every freaking pie. Oh, haven't written me in a long time. Faraway place, ancient city of Yis, or something like that. Oh, so in that case... Okay, so the city of Yis... It's a French legend about a corrupt city. So that might be a reference to Remuria. That might be another name for Remuria, which we're probably getting in 4.6, I'd say, with Mount Asus, I would assume. So we do need more Hydroculi. And Mount Asus is conspicuously not accessible. But what I would say is, they also mentioned the ancient, ancient city of Yith that said... I think Yith might have been a mistranslation, because Yith is a Lovecraft thing. And to be fair, there are Lovecraft references in Fontaine, such as Basil Elton is literally a... I think, I think it's from... She's from... She's named after a male character, the same name from The Call of Cthulhu, if I recall correctly. But yeah, there are Lovecraft references in Fontaine. That said, they might be kind of syncretizing Ys and Yif if they sound similar enough in Chinese or Japanese. I'm not sure. It's possible. But encountering Alice in Remuria would be insane. She does need to show up eventually. And frankly, I think when she shows up, we need to beat her up. She might even be the trans domain. But she she's honestly one of the more amoral characters in the game. She's... Not really good or evil. Just very, very... 
she literally has a game player's mindset about her existence in the game world, which is, you know, very, very interesting because the Traveler is from outside to that, but doesn't really see to that as a game to manipulate in that kind of way. In the kind of way that Alice seems to. It's interesting. Sissior is like an interesting person, and yeah, it's Alice. It's almost certainly Alice. It's her help, let's continue on. There you were. Okay, so the fish is back. Golden carp. Swirling miasmus, fierce beast might have caused you ill, not so, and that is good. I will say that that miasma bit of miasma is really easy because unlike some of the other areas with sort of miasma branches and the enemy we all actually had to kill was always one of the easiest just a little salmon troll at the end while a couple of shoeball mighty trolls were also trying to get us possessed connected to the golden cart means to speak with you directly please come with me interesting follow the golden carp back out of this cave ah but if you're familiar with fate well also there's a game series named after east that doesn't really have anything to do with it but in one of the fgo chapters from a few years back they did have east as a setting that's when they had oh you can walk on water Trivial matters are nothing. Oh, so she's lighting up the lanterns too. Oh, I went I went to this foggy area when I first visited the area. Try to see what would happen. And I saw those in the water and was wondering what was up with them. Okay, so clearly we just need to beat these guys up now. Get over here. Come on, come on. You'll just Oh right, and her damage is really nothing special. That's sad. Well, we need range, I guess. With Xing Chao? Well, I guess it depends on the weapon. Do you have Fav or Sacrificial or... What do you have him carrying? Because to be frank, whether he has enough ER has a lot to do with the weapon he's carrying. Because I switch between using Sacrificial and Fav on him depending on the team I'm trying to use him in. Just up ahead. And frankly, I do typically prefer Sacrificial in general, because it does give him a bit more him a bit more energy. But Favonius is better for his other team members, usually. Oh! Okay, well. Now I know. <laughs> I mean, Cloud Retainer got the job done well enough. Past since I last emerged here, and does this mean we're going to actually see Mount Lijin? Lively place filled with the aroma of incense. So I actually put the statues down when I first came here, so I wonder if that's going to be reflected in the dialogue. Three of us could travel freely. Aroma of incense, mountains and rivers. Flowing water neath the moon, dark, sparkling, sparkling oh so brightly. Enough reminiscing. Thanks to you all, return to your and host of the range aid, right? Person in the mural. Mountain hugging that egg was you. So yep, yeah, she's not an actual Adeptus or an actual Shion. I, I do have some strong feelings about the fact that they changed all mentions of Shion, which is a very specific Chinese mythological term for a Taoist immortal, to Adeptus, a, you know, a made-up Latin-sounding term. If you look at the content beta test, they were originally going to name... Oh, wow, that's really good. Yeah, that... You definitely have enough like that. But like I was saying, they were originally going to rename Liwei to Lunia to obscure even more sort of Chinese culture in it. Because they were afraid, and honestly kind of rightly so, of getting discounted if the game seemed too obviously Chinese. But I mean, once it got popular, people stopped caring, and quite frankly, it's basically one of the biggest sources of Chinese culture power in the world at this point, I'd say. <laughs> but... I do wish, although it would honestly be hard or impossible to make the change now, I wish they would have just said Xi'an. Because co-opting everything into the term Adeptus also erased a lot of meaningful distinctions. Like, Illuminated Beast is, you know, Xi'an Beast effectively, it's... I don't know. 
I'm annoying about these kinds of things. An A, come now, precious jade. Casting range jade, ritual great power. I would say so. And would even be making an emblem set for her too. The new battle pass spear is very, very good for her. It's oftentimes a damage upgrade over catch, I believe. As long as she actually has enough ER to get her burst back. Like I said, it depends on whether you do battle pass stuff or not. Because I do, but not everyone does. Calm rivers improve the weather. A thing of death and slaughter. Only the thinnest thing separates curses and the adeptal energies that have aided you up till now. Oh, okay. So either way, if you would be putting catch on her, you'd be using emblem, I'd say. Hands of those who do ill. Figure who hugged that egg. Interesting. Make you pretty ancient. Does. Does quite make me feel young. Right, too. All right. Certainly. Tell me as such. Hardly the equal of true adepti. Yep. Even Mount Shaper is quote unquote above her. Just in terms of being an actual Shion. Fav. Okay. In that case. Before I had Ballad. I'd say what you do is use Kita in. Kita in Cross Spear is good on Zhang Jean Wing's best other option in that case, because it gives her EM, which. Because in terms of four star weapons, Raiden is basically bound to catch. But Zhang Wing is a bit more flexible. Before I got access to the new spear, I had Zhang Wing using Kita in with a Crimson Witch set. Are you familiar with the Google Sheet with some basic team build information? Because that told me, and it seemed pretty true in my experience, that if Zhongling carries Kita in, which gives her a bit of flat MG regeneration, she should use Crimson Witch instead of Emblem. KQM is kind of down at this point. It's the Genshin Impact Helper Team sheet. I'll send the link in chat. It's really, really useful. It doesn't update quite as quickly as it should or used to, in my opinion. But that's mainly because they don't like jumping the gun. But they do have really, really good team build advice. There we go. So, are they equal? Because she is a celestial envoy. Weak as my band of friends. No medicines to save. Bound across mountains and plains. Just cannot simply leave the title down. Medicines are chalk shake. Bound across. Guess that's most of the others. People at Chinny Vale at a service. You wish to become friends or so I would say. Deptus and sound history just like this place. Great celebration. Abundance, laughter, firecracker battles, and beast dances. Kabusha dance. Almonds, forgotten ruins of the modern mind. Not completely forgotten. Spoojin, demons, defeated demons, planted the first tea tree. Certain carp adeptus. Opera about the carp going around killing stuff. We should dance. Adeptus is... Oh, nice. So, do you use Fischl with Alhatham? Because... Wait, wait, do you have Yelon? Okay. Because... Have you tried doing an Alhatham, Nahida, Xingqiao Fischl team? Because that's about as pretty close... Oh, okay, well... Xing Chao would be a decent enough substitute in that case, and frankly, the additional pulleys would probably help too. Because my Alhatham team, as good as its damage is, doesn't have any hard defense, so Alhatham gets knocked or knocked around a lot. But the nice thing about Alhatham, because he's Dendro, is that he can simultaneously be a reaction driver by applying Dendro for other people to use, and you know, an actual reaction DPS himself. Because, you know, when he applies Dendro, it can proc spread and increase his own damage. So my best team period right now, I would say, is Shinobu, Nahida, Yeon, and Alhatham. Oh, okay, so that's pretty close. But I would say that if you're not using Nahida on some other team, Nahida would be better there. Because... Alhatham being on field would allow him to make use of Nihira's EM boost from her A4 passive, because that only applies to on-field characters, and EM isn't snapshotable. So ideally, you want someone who can actually benefit from that, and Alhatham benefits, benefits very, very heavily from EM, because his, his skill damage triple dips in EM, because EM is just part of the multiplier, 
The damage of his skills is a percentage of attack plus a percentage of EM. And his A4 passive gives him a damage bonus to his skill damage based on his EM. And then when you proc a reaction with that skill, you get spread damage on that based on his EM on top of that, multiplied by all those other damage bonuses. So he really, really likes getting EM. But... Yeah, that, it makes him really, really, really strong, which is part of why I actually avoid using that team too much, unless I'm just farming bosses and trying to do that as quickly as possible, because it trivializes a lot of things. It allows me to be sloppier in Abyss than I'd actually like to be. As soon as society, our friend should be constantly fretting with happy like companions on an adventure, on an adventure together. Right, well said, ask you all for help, continue wallowing in the past. Prepare for the right itself. Encountered any sacred simulacra? Yes. We actually put them down around there. Okay. Oh, okay, Yua. Yo. I am a little ashamed. I have Yua and I don't have her built. I moved a Pale Flame set from Razor to her, but then I gave it to Fremine. I don't even have her in 90. I have a C6 Mika, also not leveled, who I do want to level eventually to use with her. But it's just, it's been so long since she was anything close to meta that I find it hard to justify when I've got other characters who I'm also trying to build. I feel bad for her. Actual spirits predict the home should be some nearby, and they do look kind of like chubby and tubby. Then she'll level talents and weapons to her artifacts, and who is that? Proper places, spirit veins using the range egg, right? Leave it to us. I have faith in you. Well, we already did that. Oh my goodness, I don't even have Ayaka. Okay, so that just lets us skip it. Okay, makes sense. Just says talk to Fujin, because we already fixed the sign of Lacra. Okay. And now these lanterns are nice and glowing. Can I walk on the water and... Oh, I can. Oh, that is really interesting. So where does the water stop being walkable? Oh, I guess it's... Keep going. Okay. When is it going to actually have me go into the water? Okay. So around here and... Oh, okay. So it's kind of this border, this lamp. You actually start walking on the water now. But even though you're on top of it, you still get wet. Okay. Yeah. I... I've tried rolling for Ayaka in the past. Every banner other than her first. And I just haven't gotten her. And, you know, I got Shenha in the hopes of eventually getting Ayaka and built her. But the only character I've been able to actually use her with is Rathesli. Yep. And to be fair, they work pretty well together. And one of the reasons I got Rathesli is so that I could actually use someone with Shenha. But, you know, Ayaka uses her kit better. Oh, okay. So that was the infinite Ayaka banner, right? If I recall correctly? It's gonna make me nostalgic. Just Ayaka. But, as I was saying, I don't have Kokomi either, who I would want for, you know, the full Ayaka premium freeze team, but well, I could put Mona in with Amber in and prototype Amber, I guess? Not built? Yeah. That's life. <laughs> okay, Sacred Simulacra already. Vote of Ranger returned to its priests. Rightful places. So does that mean we're the priests in this case? Now ready to be performed. Cover it once you cast the Ranger Jade in. But if rest nature jade humans divinely dictated. Fog in the spirit vein sent the earth moving against the flow of time. Oh, okay. So did you give her Blizzard Strayer set to someone else then? Or did you just use a different set on her to begin with? Miasma Environmental Disorder. I think attempt to return to nature. Oh, wow. As in, did you feed it to something else to level it up? Or when it's all rid of its sickness, return to nature. If there are caves and mountains to dominate the world and regulate nature, exactly. It's man versus nature. Okay, okay. The best way, in my opinion, to level artifacts is... Do you have your teapot at max currency gain? Because what I do every week, I just get... 
the transient resin and then the artifact leveling materials, and I save them for whenever I need to level someone's artifacts. As long as it works for you, I guess. But, yeah. But make sure to get your currency semi-regularly. The best way to actually check, poor Ayaka, best way to actually make sure you get it regularly is to plant some plant in one of the fields, even one you, one you won't use. Because the amount of time in between the plant getting planted and becoming harvestable is a little less than the time it takes realm currency to fully fill up when you're at max gain. So when you get the notification to go and get your plant, you can go and pick up your currency, and it won't have gone over cap. Oh, okay, okay. So if you aren't already, I would say buy the artifact leveling material weekly. Because people have done some analysis. Smart, smart. People have done some analysis of essentially the maximum sort of value in resin in terms of what you can buy from the Realm Depot every week. And the best way to do it based on essentially what you can buy with the amount you get every week is buying the transient resin because it's just resin. And after that, the artifact materials. So that's what I do. Mountains, land, mountains, and rivers have their own order. Names sometimes miss the cool mountain streams and the great rivers. I've been flowing with the seasons and mere fish that swam. Wait, so is she an adeptus with more connection to Celestia or suffer in languish? Hope you can understand. Control of its order once more. In that case. And Mount Lajin should be coming back now, I think. Oh, 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 come on. Show us, show us, show us. There we go, we got the mountain back. And I believe this is where the Geobishop local legends are. Is this one gonna fight us? Oh, I guess it didn't work. Nothing seems to have changed. Oh, so the Swanee is probably trying to protect the order of nature. So we're probably going to have to fight her to get her to lay off effectively. Mm, too feeble in my current state. Jade's then lack, which still wasn't enough. Not your fault. Overcome this trial. Definitely energy has dissipated. Power has left me across the long years. They don't like the jade? Probably not. Big fish. Three times the size, stirred power, golden carp. Indeed, a few. Strength to appear, ritual implements make up for the deficiency. You, present or past me, adepti of the south, weak and unworthy. More important to say, then not make friends because of that. Conditional on your status. Stories about you, already friends, also want you to be happy. Thank you, all of you, more like this, looking for the carp. Yodea Valley with a golden carp hidden within. Ah, okay, so we actually already, we already did all that. So there was another quest, which I assume you also did, there in Yaudia Valley, the one where you had to go and, oh, get the tea branch from the other side, but I did that as one of the first things I did in Shenyu Vale. So I guess we're just going to go straight to the cave with Chongsheng and... Fujin used to kind of hang out, I guess, and see what happens there. Take care of the nearby miasma. Well, we already did that. Check the clues nearby. Please, everyone, do enter. Interesting. Your abode. Deftus' repose. Place that the Uraborn I made. Yep, big Chongcheng. Sacred Semilacra here will cause you little trouble. Yep, so everything here has already been attained. Yeah. Cool. Check the clues nearby. So, golden carp fish. So all we had to do was go and find this. Stone slate count. Oh, which one? The one on Mount Lijin, or... Are you talking about the one in this cave over here? Because I know I checked out this cave earlier, because when I first went to Chain U Vale, most of what I was doing was just looking for the Clearwater Jade's level crowd retainer. But, don't you take... So this is a piece of stone, I'm pretty sure you take this back to... I didn't even notice that Changsheng was on there too, I just saw the carp. Take the stone back to complete the mural. Okay, okay. That one? Alright. Check this, and wait, what? Okay. Hello. Okay, yep, exactly, Chi Wall. 
Oh, so you would have been behind it and... Wait, so does that thing respawn or not? I don't even remember. Either way, you know... Yep. They've all got their bursts up. I think I'll go find that thing again. I wonder if anyone will ever need clear water jades again. Probably not, honestly. Guess it doesn't respawn, or at least it won't respawn until I do something quest-related, maybe? Eh, yeah, we'll see. Come on, come on. Oh, okay. Went too high. She went too high up. Yep, very clearly, we are going to put the stone back here in this mural. Like I saw, yep, you see a bit of a white bit of Chongqing over there. Let's fix this bad boy. Oh my goodness, not the Gosha Dream. I used to have those. When first here all this time, no carps rest, power remains, grace of your adeptal energy. Mural summit went with a golden carp mural in it. Mm, yep. So I'm seeing this mural as well. Battles took place in the past, Connery and the Archon War. Or... Mm, oh, minor adeptus know nothing about Conria. Archon War won the shelters we built for Chenny Vale. Crossfire, floods overturned the heavens, or split open a place of safety. A mural. It's pictured to be me, big slippery carp, and a friend. Park get taken somewhere else. Oh, so... Are you afraid it'll get your hopes up? Is that dissatisfaction? Great friends, two of us are becoming worshipped, and one of us was always the mountain's master. So, was the mountain's master Chongsheng or the Swanee? <laughs> Defected. Oh, died. Last never submitted news of us afterwards. Oh, so, would have been the Swanee, the fish, and the snake, maybe? But okay. So, maybe they kind of became considered, a, considered as Adepti? When they defected to work with Zhongli, when he tried to conquer the area, all traitors, object of enter fury against. Okay. Would have been the Swanee. Looks like all in the past. Geneva back to health, only room I used to met Zhongli on. Another. Strength to perform the ritual. Carpet even with you nearby, swimming through the air like that. Troublesome? Just think of them like sealies. Oh, okay. The golden. Golden carp? Carp, though. I only ever saw the butterflies. Okay. Golden carp that should be here inside the painting. Adeptal energy to awaken it. Okay. Adeptal energy on the drawing of the carp. Let's grab this. Bring it to where I need it to be. Hmm. Need it again at Mount Zwanlian. Examine the mural. Okay, go back to the mountain, where we were slightly before, actually, but no. Wait, wait, so she said she would take it to where it needs to be. So what I'm wondering is, is it already repaired or not? That is the real question. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Oh my goodness. Not good, not good. What is that? Hmm. Just go down here real quickly and see. Come on, come on. Okay. All the way down there. Let's try this out again. And you, you, you. No, that's the wrathful one. Okay. Is there going to be a geofish pure this time, or... Let's see. Oh, yep, and it showed up this time when I don't even have access to my boobs. Goofy. Come on. Yeah, it is quite nice. It's a lot like Zhao, actually. Very specifically, I know that Zhao doesn't take plunging damage. Which is nice. And try this out, and can we... There we go. Knock you down. So I guess that spawn was disabled while... We were here for the quest. So will it be there? Well, you know, I guess they didn't bother updating that yet. Okay. Go back to Mount Zwanlian. Zwanlian right up ahead. What a pretty place. Let's see what clues we can find. Oh, goodness. Explore Mount Zwanlian. I do, yeah. So, if you were to need help with a boss or something like that, I would be able to offer that. 
There, there have been some people who have come on to ask for boss help, and I have done some on-stream boss help. Which has been a lot of fun when they were on lower world levels, too. Okay, cool. Well, my friend code is also right at the bottom right of the screen, so... You don't need to ask me for permission. Let's see, okay, so lots and lots of these barrels. I could use a bow, but I could also not do that. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, so he got Navia. Okay. Nice. Cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't know how I feel about that message. Okay, let's go and... That. Come on. Can I... Oh, so I really do need a bow for this. So it seems an... Oh, damage, damage. I will pretend I never saw it, for your sake and for mine. Guess we'll put Ganya back in. What's kind of hoping for? Yeah, it couldn't have been you. It certainly couldn't have been you, right? No way. Okay, let's go and shoot these. We got two of those, and there we go. Okay, nice and easy. So put Shanha back in the party. Yeah, but I chose to get Shanha's outfit instead of Ganyu's. No real reason. Still hoping that they bow to pressure and give us a free four-star skin selector. It won't happen. So what are those? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's go over to the mountain. I guess we could get that. Let's get that teleport waypoint. Yeah, it's definitely the fact that it's shorter than the original definitely is a little strange. Let's go knock you down. Oh, did I not actually manage to trigger that? Did not trigger shatter. That is strange. Okay, come on and just there we go. We actually got it this time. Come on, come on. Go like this. And just... Slam this Shionjo beast. And... Get you. There we go. Nice. Didn't actually put down any kind of... Fire on the ground. It's kind of a surprise. Okay, let me see real quick. Well... I don't know. I guess it just felt like it. Let's see, so we got treasure. Lopan. That's what he means by boss. Okay, I thought he was referencing uh, Lopan, which is... Or maybe that was just kind of a bad localization. It's sort of a ch Chinese treasure-finding dowsing machine. In folklore. I don't know. Probably reading too much into it. So is it going to be up on the mountain, or... We're climbing up now. Let's go on these bridges. I guess we could use some of those, but we'll see. That statue over there. Yeah, I did not get Chevros because she was on she was only with Yoimi and Raiden, who I already had both of them. And, you know, until I get every five star. I don't feel like I can really afford to spend pulls on a banner with a five star I already have. Well, I mean, if you're free to play, I don't think you can really, <laughs> I don't think you can really say it's bad, but, which is a good thing, by the way, but, okay, so we went down there before, as I was saying, it'll be a while until I get Chevros, <laughs> though I would like to eventually, because, you know, that way I could use, I guess, a Yoimi, a Raiden team <laughs> together. Hmm. So that, I guess we can get that energy, that cloud over there. How are we going to do this? Guess, oh, we could... <sighs> Is that over there? Oh, so that spigot, Jade Cascade, the Jade Hairpin. Insert it into the right place. Spirit Orb on the Stone Carp statue and reactivate it. 
Interesting. Jade hairpin. That's Poiss rights, but doesn't change. Got the hairpin. Just the rest of the Poiss right the same way. Well, before that, I feel like going and trying to light up some of these lanterns, I suppose. Let's see. Yeah. Things could have been much, much worse. Let's get that and... Okay, so that'll come over to me. Let's just take our... Nice, we can get that. And okay, that'll make that rise up. Oh, interesting. Wait. Oh, so... It actually automatically moved that one over. I guess I must have done that unintentionally. Now we've gotten that and... What is this gonna do? Oh, a carp spirit orb inlaid on the golden carpfish statue. An immense amount of adeptal energy. So that's definitely gonna be some kind of side objective. Probably. Zaku Zaku. So wait. That's all the way up there. So how am I meant to get to the top then? There's gonna be some more up there. Just gonna have to climb? Somehow, I'm not sure. Oh, there's one of those over... Wait. Where's this one supposed to be then? Activate this. Oh, so it's one that's basically just a phase gate. And we got a carp out of that too. Oh, nice. A teleport waypoint. Then, that over there. And, okay, one little chest down there. Let's grab that. Luckily, we had an open enough inventory that just went straight in instead of just falling out. Because if I recall correctly, in my experience, it's very, very possible, and not in a good way, if you have too many things in your inventory, too many artifacts, everything, even the things that aren't artifacts, will just spill out even from a chest that is supposed to directly put contents right in your inventory. I wish they would just say, okay, you can't open it right now. Because I've gotten very close to just outright losing things from chests in the past. Okay, we can talk to him now. I wonder what else is going to be up here. Because I feel like if all the carp orbs are in this area... Wait, oh, so... That take it out of our inventory... Maybe. Okay, I think, actually. Feeling here on this mountain, Adepti style. Golden Carp, place is kind of huge. Last time, Adeptal energy on the mural, Carp hiding inside. Okay, I think we put an orb down. Carp statues, four giant Carps hiding inside. Pretty smart, Adeptal energy reacting anyway, not at all. Something missing inside, critical clue. Okay, so this is just part of the quest. Carp statues, because we put one down. Large pearls on the way down the mountain, used for something. Pearl wisdom, worth a try, thank you, give it a go. So we need to get the other pearls, so we got one of the spirit orbs already. So we could sit down here. Okay, so we'll just send us to the other parts of this mountain over here. Well, I'll be right back. Second.
back. Let me actually check. Check something real quick. So did I'm gonna see that in Yolo. Nice, nice HP sword. I like that. And got you got the tenacity for Akasha two piece two piece. Nice. And oh my goodness. That is a crazy amount of HP. Okay. Well, nothing to do, but... Actually, I want to see what's it. Oh, okay. Well, there's a spirit carp right here. I guess I may as well get that now. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. Come on, come on. So, if I want to check out what might be at the top of the mountain, I should actually go to the top of the mountain. Oh, what is that? What is that little machine over there? Assume it'll probably actually send us to the top of the mountain. Wait, what do you mean? Saying I shouldn't check them? It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Dragon's Bane is good. Shime is good. I mean, you very clearly know what you're doing team comp wise. I don't see any problem with any of that. But, okay, start the challenge and... Okay, target location within 45 seconds. Oh, it's just more of these simulacra to get to the top of the mountain. Well... You seem to know what... You at least know what stats to prioritize for your characters. The same cannot be said for everyone. Okay, so clearly, okay, and that will allow us to go over and get that spirit carp. Okay, so you can look down over and see this the area. It's over by, oh, there's that other waterfall over there. I didn't even really see that. That over there is mostly, let me see. That over there is actually, it's not Lysian, but it's hidden the mist right now, but... There's more, a little bit of Samaru and a little bit of Fontaine. It's crazy to be seeing Madiuma Forest from the north. Honestly, straight up crazy. Making my brain hurt. Okay. Well, we got another carp at the end of that challenge. Huh. So we got this rock. Some more rock. Okay, let's top back real quick. Okay. Couple, a few more of those hairpins. Okay. Well, all right. Sky ladder all the way back. Shade hairpin. So I didn't even know that was specifically part of the quest line. Okay. Hmm. It's over here. What can we do? Move me away. Waterfall above me away. Return to my floating stone platform. That change the position of something or wait wait let's see that over there and okay that didn't do anything at the moment so if i move you to this stone platform maybe let's see balances me sort of both sides of the stone platform in that case where am i going to put Let's move this over and oh we put that there and now the orb can be collected there we go okay just one more so see another carp spirit orb and so now that these have all been moved okay that platform has completely disappeared we can't move the hairpin and we can't move how much of anything else really let's go over get the last one well, clearly we need to- oh, goodness. Some guys to beat up here, so... This will be gomming time. Hi. Come on. Do that. Okay, go out in. Come on, walk out guy. And just like that, we can- Frankly, this is already overkill, but who's counting? There we go. 
Simple as, and nobody got anywhere close to getting uh, getting any burst back. Okay, so wait. So this is an orb, but it's depowered. Gonna move that back there then? I guess. Okay, so this one is simple. It was just a matter of a bit of combat. There we go, and it was really just that simple. Last orb, activate the spirit orb, carpet pavilion, and see what happens. Okay. So on the topic of Nilu, I found out relatively recently that apparently Sino Nilu is a pretty popular pairing. Almost entirely because their signature weapons look similar. They don't really have any interactions in game. But the cricket bat looks like the boat oar, and that's enough for some people. It's... I don't know how I feel about that, but I feel like... You would be more qualified to speak on the topic. Okay, so there was just a spin crystal over there. Okay. Doesn't count for any kind of... Inspiration progress. Let's just put those all away and got another chest. Hospitality, long time since I last enjoyed tea with others. Oh, luxurious chest. Much over time, your answer is... Fair. Appreciating tea, offering smelled off. Oh, interesting. Okay. I'm not too familiar with the dynamic. Tell me about that. With the soil and water quality. Okay. Oh, okay. So useful, not a meaningless tradition after all. We can't choose to say anything nice. Value of tea, value of confidence, have some tea. Madam Pings. Oh, okay. Which, which event? Would that have been the Parade of Providence or... Oh, oh, right. They were the co-hosts for the Academia Extravaganza. Oh my goodness. Forgotten. So, yeah, right, right. Now, now I get it. Okay, now I understand. I see, I see where you're, I see where you're coming from. I get that. I get that a lot. Madam Ping. So now all you have to do is to become Al Haytham in mind, body, deed, and word. And your Neelu will show up. Ping's teapot for her, quite a connection with tea. Gnome of whom you speak, back in the day, along with her friends. John Carp, and I believe fresh water for too long, nor live in salty waters. These teapots take me, teapot to Glory Points in Lilay Harbor. Lovely people. So Jean Glee, Goy Jean, and Never came. More about the city. Oh! She might go there eventually. I don't know. Two, I've never been. One main restaurant, which is Ong Ling. Well, because she's hungry. She's always hungry. Skip over any of the eating bits. Port City nestled. Your leeway story. Right of dissension. Oh, so I wonder what... This is, I don't think this quest actually requires leeway completion, does it? Maybe. So I wonder what she would have said if we hadn't completed We Like Westline. Diptus, were you listening to your words? Incessant interjections for it as you speak. Hmm. Let me see. Tension rises and falls. Commentary and questions. Food and flavors. Toys, gems, and jewelry. And such. So moved by the tale... Along this journey, we met many friends, experienced so many things. Okay, oh, that that is interesting. So when we select our option, it's also set as dialogue. So they are really making the traveler more of a character. I like that. All worth it. Okay, a sea monster. Okay, a sile. So I guess he wouldn't have known if he was all the way over here in the veil. Not what I imagined. Mm. In what sense? Disappointing. Just a different. Oh, and yep. Just looking off in that general direction. Different doesn't make it bad like the Leeway Harbor you described. Good to hear. Orb right there. Dear Urboard was able to find a home. Okay, so Chongqing. It's basically 
Maybe the biggest fragment? Simply wonderful. But you are all starry now. You and your friend, curious to know what she's like. Already, wouldn't it be fair if I didn't tell you how we met? Kid didn't know anything about the mountains. Wild beasts were following me through, chased to a clearing and surrounded. Get, just gonna get eaten, backed off into the woods, and then they were gone. Oh, probably the Shionjo beast, like Jade, but with a dignity master that the grandparents have told me about. Wasn't scared, I just told her. Finally found you, been looking for you for so long. I lowered her head and thought before walking off, made no noise, listened as hard as I could. Stepping on branches or falling leaves. Hmm. Sight of her moving between trees in a flash, rising moonlight outlined her shadow as she stood atop a high mountain. Thought it was strange, hadn't seen her before, always there after all. Hmm. Always there. Swanee. Wanted to talk, always turn and leave, only later she became willing. High mountains into deep forests, lots of questions and lots of stories. This bearing mountain, rivers had a real temper. Sometimes they would flood, sometimes all but wither. Your friends have fish and a snake, Fujin and Uribord slash Chongsheng. Cut into pieces and the fish sank into the sea and then only the swanee was left. Thank you. Tell anyone about my friend. Of course you won't. Familiar with this friend of little mouths. My past life, many years have passed since I could no longer move freely. Might not recognize her any longer. Might not have changed too much. Past life? The most accurate way to phrase it did not utterly perish, lose my original form. Strength and wisdom dissipated. Why did you to the carp's rest? Not there would not even have a form to show you or a voice with which to speak to you. So I regained my previous strength, the Upcarp's Rest was in Mount Laishin. Scenes with my own eyes, meeting old friends from the past, and more importantly, making new friends. Hmm. Okay. Very glad. How did you die? Memories that have grown foggy. Urborg, servants of another god, range aid right, administering rivers and mountains. Beast wild and free, up the solitary swanee. Still days to Aozhang and Mount Hulao, met with the Adepti. Power and wisdom far eclipse mine, all before the war. Help the Cloud Retainer and Mountain Shaper. I do wonder whether Mountain Shaper and Moon Carver will eventually be made playable, given that their Adepti, their human forms in this current event, are very, very generic. Albeit quote-unquote disguises. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Oh, interesting. Not a heinous being. Many dreams come true. Evil the Archon War itself. No further explanation on my part. Defected to Zhongli. Bravest thing we've ever done. Hmm. Interesting. Some people might consider that cowardice. Probably. So over there... All but gone mad, position of a god who may rule this world or survival, like the power to overcome Morax. Campbell, river to flood, destroy everything downstream for Chenyu Vale and its people. Mmm, never do, period. War does to people, our final adventure is a trio. Hmm. Okay, Ling Yuan, that's her name, with her familiars. Fought against her mistress, or prepared, vote of range hate the rising waters. Oh, to stop the waters from rising. Okay. So would Linguan be... The beast? Okay, probably. Oh, attacking the Xianju beast would have been her familiars, maybe? The shelter. So they were only pretending to actually hunt them in order to get them into the shelter. It's interesting how to proper range it right, release of adeptal energies, open its maw, swallow the rivers jade map to grow and stay wise in the flow. How it all ended. Really when? That the past, the right itself. For the golden carp, already found it, able to appear before you. Scenery here a bit too much, couldn't help but have a long chat with you all. Your sense of time and mind not the same once your objectives are complete. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right. Ah. 
apologize, forgive my capriciousness. Time to go back to the foggy area over there. Okay. We're inside the teapot. Ah, okay. Let's go over quite this chest. And okay. Let's go straight into the inventory because there were too many. Okay. Well, that's interesting, actually. So there were four orbs, but six pedestals. I wonder if eventually we'll be able to get a sixth? Maybe. Let's see. Okay, so no, that is the correct form, the swanee. Okay. Hmm. All right. Go back up and... Okay. Oh, so the previous the one on the right wasn't lit before, but now it is. So I get the impression that... Okay, so maybe... Only lit after we got that one, but either way, we should be able to bring that Lysian back now. Hopefully. Still a far cry from help us in the past, thanks to your ear, you regain much strength. Next, need to perform the ceremony. Effects, thousand is years since last performed it. Mountains, rivers, and spirit means it will change a great deal. If all goes well, the range aid will resolve the issue. Let's begin. Oh. Simulacra. 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 Oh, music. Hello. What are you doing? Hello. And we got the small version. Is it going to get bigger? Or... Hmm. This is almost kind of Toho-esque. What's really, really interesting is that either intentionally or unintentionally, the music for the Kamisato estate has an identical melody, you know, albeit very, very slowed down to the main theme, the main menu theme of every Toho game. To that Wii motif. Okay, so Mount Lijin's back. Is it going to show up on the map now? Or... Let's see. Hmm. Fog's dissipating, and here we have it. And we got that big, weird jade up there. It's that. And a mural. Two golden people and something in between them. Impressive. Remember that at all. Sacred mountain, merely climate, or ready to transgress. And Hestral and sexual inhabitants are gone. Something adept, something celestial, I would assume. Common and path lies waste and broken. Who shall judge us now? Spirit veins converge, transmit my adeptal energy throughout the veil, restoring its water and its soil. From achieving our goal, you're prepared, let's do this. Indeed. I assume the Swanee will fight us. Explore where the beachly lingers. Viewpoint over here. Trails of Lyshin. Do you wonder what that actually means? Ascend to the heavens with the dreams of the past is seen from afar. Shinyuvel map in the Bishui region. Interesting. I see. And just bring that back and okay. So now it's all appeared. The Chiwang Terrace. Way. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, seven. So how many more teleport waypoints are there here? A wrong button. Button again. Let me see. Seven more. Shen Yu Splendor. Okay, so there's one hidden one. It's gotta be in a cave somewhere, but I wonder what cave it would be. Either way, we're going up on the mountain now. Lovely stuff. It was honestly really interesting that you could see the sort of orange fringes over here even before the mountain was actually revealed because. Sometimes they do do some layering changes on the map, but the only times I can really, really think of that being the case are her. They removed the Tower of Epsisimus and they moved the Ruin Golem around 
these areas, but aside from that, usually it's just revealing an underlying image, revealing portions. We're always there. I feel like they could have just kept it as pure water, but they didn't care that much. Come with me, accompany Fujin. Holy Mountain. Oh, a golden carp again. Let's see these simulacra appearing. Even easier, do you not like it? German destroyed nature, how could she? Nearby miasma. Ah, uh, yep. So, the Swanee is somehow impeding things. Get rid of it and keep on moving. Oh, yep. Lots and lots of these, but let's break this down. Come on, come on. Got this pillar and. Goodbye. Come on. Over there, crush you, and let's just see. Come on. Okay, did that break? Yep, that did break you. Move out of the way of that. And use the energy to break that branch. Thunder Helm is... Oh my goodness. That's not good. Let's see how we can... Come on, out of my way. Out of my way. Let's have Shincho do some of this. Let's roll that and... Come on, come on. Hope we get that and... Oh, please. Oh no, oh no. Do I need to smash or do I need to... As long as I can get that down, we'll be kind of fine. Okay, that's gone. That's more or less gone. Oh, not like that, not like that. Oh, please. Can we keep on going? How much damage are we going to be able to do like this? I guess we're just going to keep hitting you with Xingzhou. It's not horrible. Come on, come on. Come on, and one more. Well, we missed that hit. Come on, core has been exposed. To take... Okay, so that one only took two. Oh, so is... Is the Swanee somehow creating the miasma? Well, that's insane. Okay. Let's keep on going. Keep on going. There's a bit of chain or some kind of bluish green stone inside the mountain. So is that more miasma over there? Are we going to have to keep clearing that up? Or... Ah, well, all right. Assume there might be some kind of achievement for clearing out all the miasma eventually. Seems like a somewhat safe bet. Maybe. All oh, this shade. It's certainly pretty. Hmm. Shiwang Terrace. Shiwang. Well, I'd assume Earth. She is Earth. Oh. Wangshan. Wang. Wangshan Hall. So Chiwang. King of something, I think. Wang is king. There she is. Are we gonna have to fight her? Maybe, probably. When Guan perceived it would be you, do you miss you so? Really might be a bad time. Mm -hmm. Don't be like that. Speak with me. Those people come, not now. You know this. You cannot allow it. Wait just a while longer, it will end soon. Things up there does not matter, just leave it to me. Do not come up here. Oh, defeat the swan one beast. Lulu and Kai Ming cannot waste time here, I fear. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can get you. Can we get both of you, or... Come on, let's just shatter that. And, oh, goodness. How are we gonna... Okay, well, let's immobilize. How can I not get a shatter off? That is very, very strange. Don't quite like that. Come on, and... That's just... Oh, that miss. Can we freeze you two? That's embarrassing. Okay, well, we can just maybe get some of this out. Cool, let's just keep on trying. What are some of these Xianzhou beasts? Come on, come on. Please. Okay, got some of you. And let's just get that burst back. Come on. There we go. Kind of. Kind of. Okay. That was clumsier than I would have liked. Very clearly, she's trying to impede us in order to protect the order of nature over the order of humanity. That... Thematically, that's very, very interesting. I like that. So that's about Hula over there is evidenced by that flat piece of amber, I believe. 
septal amber. Yeah, when you look up amber on the wiki, you know, talking about Mount Hua, you talking about amber the character, or prototype amber the weapon. Hmm, okay, well, let's have to jump down there eventually. You know what? What we could do is get that teleport waypoint, get that spirit car before I forget about that thing, and then go get it. It's also really interesting to see Fontaine from this side. Very quickly is where the tower system is. That's... Let's see. That's... One of the mountains in Mort region. Mount Otomniki over there, I think. Yeah, that's not Otomniki. And then the one on the left is... All the mountains that used to be Olinas' body. And then... This one's over there. And that's Mount Aesis. And that's Mount Aesis. And you can see one of the arches of... Court of Fontaine, too. Ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. Okay. Second. Alright. What? 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 Okay. Second. I really do wonder what Mount Aesis will be like as a playable area. It induces my curiosity. Especially if, like I said before, it's supposed to be East and Alice ends up showing up there. I would honestly go a little crazy. Let's go up, get this. Viewpoint. Okay, Chuang Peak. Oh, and the... It's actually not the Vote of Range 8 itself. Check our archive real quickly. Geography. Go to Liwei and... Go to Pillars, Gores of Wangshan. Guhua. Chivalry of Yesteryear. Ryzen. Spring Sun. Spirit Scent Flower. City. Peaceful Streets. Chizhong Wall. Tea Tree Slope. And the Upper Vale. Hmm. Okay. I feel like maybe I'll be getting a more specific name once a quest is related. Stalwart Stone may sink. She'll return right rightly. Right rightly. Chuan Peak. Long Forgotten Mist of Time. Place of the Hanging Garden. Oh, like the Hanging Garden of Babylon. But frankly, since it's actually floating, it makes me think of the Fate version of the Hanging Garden of Babylon. But in many tribes, prosperous realm is the, or as they ever were, gathering faithfully in this place. It is kind of close to Samaru. So I guess it makes sense for them to do something maybe Mesopotamian here. It is interesting that, you know, with stuff like Remuria, old, the sort of old civilizations aren't just Greek, but also Roman and maybe kind of Mesopotamian now too. Maybe. Ever were gathering faithfully. Prosperous realm? Okay, it took me away. Hmm. Alright. Clearly, we're probably going to have to fight the Swanee here. Quite frank with you earlier. Bui Wing Wan, the source of the storm that buffets Chenyu Vale. Queen already, uh, Miasma. Figure it out. The Order of Nature, Urborn High, defended together. Something so wicked, disruption of spirit veins, Miasma could propagate. Performing the right the first time was also her. Yep. Ling Wan isn't a bad person. Is your friend at this time greatest threat to Chen Yu Vale? Trolls the mountain, power to completely alter the land in the blink of an eye. Already entered Chulong Terrace before us. Relight the flow and path that spirit veins a little time left. Gonna have to go inside some sort of spirit realm and fight her, or depth of energy available here. Familiars will not be your match. Aid me for the sake of the people in Chen Yu Vale. A ritual open up the way to Chulong Terrace. Side and protect me. So is there a care of the nearby miasma? Ah, uh, okay. Grab that. Oh, okay. So all we have to do is chase it down and... Wait, wait. So in that case, which enemy is the source? Weird. Hmm. Who do I have to beat up in order to make miasma appear? So I can purify it. Because I don't see anything at the moment. That is just normal. Can I just knock you... Oh, so it's actually a 
floating rock. We can walk on these clouds. I was not expecting that. Come on. Come on. Get there and just smack you. Wait, so, okay. Get there, get that, make that. Samich will disappear, and this is one we actually have to fight. Cool. Come on, come on, and... Samina go for it again. I think we got the Gashi, and... Slam down, and... Oh, goodness. A lot of damage right there. Really is crazy strong. Okay, nice. Plunge down, smack you, and... There. More make that. Mighty Troll just straight up disappear. Listen to me, will you not wait? Can I fight her? Strength this people cannot match me. Where you will soon recover. Oh, trying to, re trying to restore her to her full carp form to rule the veil in the absence of humanity again. So this plan to destroy Chenyu Vale. This complete gate is now open. So where are we going? World seems to spin. Eyes once more already above the clouds. So where are we now? The one disorder changes the direction of the spirit veins. Oh, it's a domain. As Mixamulacra, damage, Hydro Animo, power up that attack. Top of energy to eliminate them. Eliminate it, reviving all party members. Protection of the spirit veins attack, continuous healing. Hydro, Shatter Melt, briefly immobilize. Reactions with Animo, same immobilization effect. Good calling going down. Be sort of the sunken jade realm. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that is certainly something. Come on. That's just some of this then. Swirl that, maybe. Come on, and get you up. See if we can just kind of burst you down, maybe? I guess. Come on. Come on. Okay, yeah, we can do a good amount of damage here. Come on. Just this way. Come on, hit, and plunge, and there we go. Break the ice to immobilize her. Okay. So they're just doing this pretty simply. Okay, go so soon. Be sword, and that's just actually this down. Come on, and plunge, hit, hit, and oh, nice! We can do that again. Yeah, just let us freeze you again. Why not? I don't even think any of those Miasmic Simulac are actually going to show up. I think we've kind of trivialized this fight. Okay, cool. You know, maybe I should have waited a little to show off some of those mechanics, but... You know... A one-sided beating isn't so bad every now and then either. Go on. And with a team that I made just for exploration, too. Should do fire errors of my heart. Which, of course, strike me with your sword. I will fight you to the last. She could not let go of the past and is choosing to force us to kill her instead. So that is pretty tragic. Only one here who can fight. Crush your neck. I will triumph. No. Don't intend to kill you. Do not understand. You've already lost. She's friend. Ask me one question. Prideful. Things like that. Lost, huh? A very sort of a divine mindset. Very stern, lawful, transactional exchange questions. Do you have any questions? Defy it. Can't we all be friends? Two-legged. Not the strength to form two legs of your own. Oh, interesting. What team? Do you want me to try it out and demonstrate it? Or is this just sort of spitballing? The foreman speak to me. How can humans and wild beasts ever be friends? Hmm. Ah, uh, yep, it's incompatibility between humans and animals, or maybe stated incompatibility that gives way to real compatibility. Oh, Bennett Nahida, I've tried a team like that before. A few last year over the summer, when Iniquitous was in Abyss and could only be fought with a virgin team, I did. Zhang Li Hu Tao Nihita Hu Tao. Zhang Li Hu Tao Nihita Xing Chao. For a sort of pseudo virgin team like that. Because. The thing with Bennett is. Is that as good as his buff is, 
he's directly at odds with Hu Tao's A4 passive, which is why I don't personally use them together. But I mean, if it, if it works, it works. What I would like to do eventually is build Toma, because I have a C6. Oh, oh, for the infusion and the pyro bonus. Fair. But I do have a Toma that I'd like to build eventually and get a Flower of Paradise set for him to run him Virgin. You know, when eventually they end up putting Iniquitous back in Abyss again. Hopefully that does not happen soon, but we'll see. So will all beasts ever be friends? Not true, we're already friends. Did not let those beasts eat me back then. Beasts shouldn't have helped me. Sometimes beyond even my own understanding, you were merely fortunate. Oh. Honestly? Do you want any help farming Blizzard? Oh, oh, you mean in terms of roles, because I thought for a second that you meant as in trouble with the domain, but you know. I wouldn't expect you to have trouble with the domain. You've got lots of strong characters. Mountain as well. Bumped into you, lost in the fog at the foot of the mountain. I saw it. Mountain. Mountain? Mountain Shaper? Wait. Fog. Mm, such wisdom, even nature submits to your will. You tell me, why didn't I eat her? Was it fear? Why Jin is dear to Fujin? Oh! Calling Fujin Mountain, I think. Good, good. Happy to hear that. <laughs> Which it right affected my actions. Everything I told you. For the right, tell me and that white snake how expected and nervous you were. When lively speak could not help but listen, only humans forget I forget nothing. Oh wow. Yeah, because you would be able to vaporize pretty much every hit without having to worry about having too much application. Did you use a team without a hydro flyer so that you could get more off field or but I'm not sure how that would have worked for the other chambers. The other, yeah. Doubt of mine, you may ask a question. Interesting. Have you any questions? While back, about her past, which direct Chenny Vale, once fought so hard to protect. Tea trees promising to enjoy tea. Do I remember sort of tea no longer exists? Changed by humanity. All those millennia ago, walked with humans too long. You, I, and the snake all came from nature. Truly perished, did not depart this place like the snake. Head when you were born, slowly adjusting the spirit veins the miasma came from. Oh, okay. And so you, did you change it back afterwards, or? Right into... Yeah, because both of them could use emblem. Every now and then, before I got a... I didn't always have a separate emblem set for Zhongling, so occasionally I would have her borrow Raiden's. But now I ha now she has her own set, and it doesn't, it doesn't matter anymore. Excuse me. Oh, oh, because... Do you have struggles with controls, or do you just let people borrow the account? Excuse me, side effects. Soil water's enforced to what they should have been. Forced should have been. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a device thing. I remember. Truly have forgotten. Rivers rose and fell with the rains. Path is not fixed. Last a couple years ago, before I got my PC, there was a time where I could only run the game when Samira first came out, only run on my phone, and the little laptop I put the game on could not run it anymore, which meant I had to do Abyss on my phone. And I did manage to do it, but it did hurt a little. I was lucky that those Abyss lineups honestly weren't all that bad, but it took some struggling. Either way, I'm glad that things are working out better for you now. Trimmed or cultivated, nor did they exist for humanity. Hmm. Environment, would you regain your old form, for luck once more, regain your strength. Spiritual power blanket of the lands, wild shrubs grew thick, mountains and forests are silent. Shimmering voice of the spring waters tinkling like jade can be heard no longer. Snake still thinking must stop me. Happy wife, soul returned to my home, one who does not understand. I should have defeated me, should have taken my territory. Tea on my mountain and gave that land to the humans, do not understand why you did this. Nameless land, nameless insects, beasts, and fish. Insects. It's interesting that they're describing the snake as an insect in that case. Uncultivated mountain. Belongs to neither of us. Who would it belong to, then? Hmm. Tea domain, human form, locked among them. Suited a rain jade, helped them change the soil and water. 
not understand them either. Could see how happy you were. Snake change into a human form. Oh, so there's a human form of Chongsheng. Don't think they'd ever make that playable, though. Be too weird with Baiju. Maybe? I don't know. If they made ults, though, I guess that would kind of be out of the question anyway. Help her do what she wished. Do not know why it was done. Caused me more confusion. Fought alongside humans and gods and perished. Victorian survival. Now that I can understand. Great river and mountainous forests. Choose to leave them and live on with me. Look to them. Nature belonged to nature. Or to shrink and still live freely. So it's to be by humanity. Why? As you say, I do wish to protect them. I question asking you why. A beast, but she cares about the order of things. It's much from her discussing stuff in the mountains. Totally hearing everything she said about Fujin, thought they'd be happy to meet each other. Hugh did not understand humanity, did not enjoy their excessive demands and hoarding. Desire for property, caring so little for the poor. Treading wealth, concepts that did not understand why they influence human joy and sorrow. Many other things. Cries of children break my heart, sad of an old person's shattered memory saddens me. Focosm of these mountains and rivers. Have some and seen them, children washing their feet, fishermen laughing. Triss of lovebirds, figures painted silver. Moon. Moonlight. Rainbow. Creatures of this land, innocence from the hours. Take their side to emotions, not natural principles or logic, or not waters. Their board had the same reasons, put it all very differently. Remain unsatisfied, do not understand. For a long time, our previous god raised the waters. Their families around to drive them to the shelters. My friends make their wishes a reality, not personal or its nature and against your principles. Do so anyway. Aren't all that different on account of your feelings? Satisfied with your answer, now you may ask a question. Question? Sure. Paimon's turn. Nah, ask away. Ask away. Think of any good questions, go right ahead. Acknowledge me. Choices based on your own feelings, let me ask you. Don't ask. Know what I'm going to ask you. Essentially, could you live with humanity? Oh, if I needed your help, would you still make the same choice? Or... What's your answer? Hmm. Should another thousand years pass, and even if you asked me a thousand more times, my answer would be the same. Okay, so do you need your help? Wish to save the people? And it's not me from nursing the water and soil. It's for much time, wherein they're cunning, but a foolish beast. My claws and teeth are short, but I am no match for you. You ling on. Now, for so long, I helped me a lot, and wouldn't have made it here without you. To have helped you? Glad that ling got to meet you all too, so worried when you fought. So my thanks, Fujin and me. Circumstances of the meeting were not what I hoped for. I'm on. Goodness, let us begin. Another cutscene, or we should dance with Swanee, good fortune, and jubilation. Hmm. Okay. Hello, hello. Let's talk to Fujin. There we go, we got our cutscene. Is she gonna turn into a big fish, or, or what? She is! Bigger fish than the last time, too. Big ol' koi fish. I like this music. And, and... It's going inside the big... The big jade up there. Oh, the boat of rain jade. And it's splitting the sky. Kinda reminds me of... A little, uh... Skyward sword and... Cloud portals? It's a bit like... The Thunderhead and the Skyward sword. Did she just disappear, or... Is she gone? Maybe. Where did she go? Understand all the energy she accumulated recently to nurse the land. Does that mean? As you suspect. Struggled so hard. I finished nursing the soil and water. So it remains will not disappear immediately. You'll have to be careful out there. Oh, okay. Completely used up the energy I've accumulated. Can no longer maintain my favored form. Paimon thought that. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. Glad you're still here. And go on. Hmm. What about me? Wasn't entirely wrong, as long as you're still here. Form is as it has become. More comfortable than before. Trapped at Carp's Rest. Could only reminisce. Understandable. 
What are you studying in particular? Do you have a specific exam coming up or? Scent of the tea offerings. Not met you? Such compatibility with spirit veins. Oh, compatibility with the spirit veins. It's probably got something to do with the Descender's constitution. Oh, oh. So, what science specifically? So, so are you STEM? Shadow, to talk to you, much less be able to leave Carp's rest. Concerned, forgive me, but I must depart now. Get a rest. Oh, cool. It's been a long time since I did any kind of chem lab. So, is this just general classes or studying biochem or. That's interesting. Another thing, what else would you have me do or not do? Saying this to the circumstances that prevailed before, but so good to see you again. I know. Okay. Okay, okay. Either way, good luck with that. It's been so long since I did stoichiometry or cell division or something. So, what kind of experiment or lab work were you doing in particular? Thank you all. That one come from. Make her back safe, smooth, and slippery. Finn's move is the same as I remember. Strange way of remembering people. Five labs? That's crazy. Good luck. Fish. You did it. Know why you were able to obtain a redeptal energy? Probably because it was celestial in nature. Thousands of years, never once heard her voice. You need constitution? Literally what I said. Foolish beast, wanted to see you again, would not know of a better way. One, you needed to... Okay. So what was it, if you're wanting to share? Clumsily imitating her methods, regulating spirit veins in this land. Hmm. Waiting. Yeah, I understand that. There are so many more variables to deal with there. This method did it, scooping every droplet from a rushing river, every grain of sand from the vast desert. That spot what she once did, even if these mountains returned to how they once were. I and the snake once laughed and swam happily here, those dangers will never come again. She managed too much, even more than she loves herself, had it succeeded, she would only hate me. Not matter to me, regain her form and swim free once more. Concerned about nature. It's like here, a land obtained by humans, a land of wild beasts. Subject from the matter of Fujin. This little land tamed by humans is better, and as strange she leaves grow on such a land taste superior, she'll do what pleases her. So thank you. You're welcome. Tea was taste like in the past, changed before, much closer to what it was in the past. Differences due to human influence. Weirdly flavored tea cakes, prefer the current flavor profile. Any more to their liking, do not understand her tastes. Snake was here, could ask for her opinion, become strange from spending so much time with humans. Final question for you. Does it come from nature? Will for some reason go against nature? The laws of nature originally followed. It's humanity. Principles they initially followed for certain reasons. Hmm. Oh, depends on the circumstances? Sure. Was she watching while she answered yes? See the answer I desired, which we'll meet again. See you later. Take care of Fujin. If we try now, could use some extra care. Well, please wait. What? Question for you as well. Are you that? Human activities are part of the laws of nature. Come into conflict. How do you view humanity? Question indeed part of nature. Are so no longer that is because. Oh, Celestia? What? Give this question more thought. Next time we meet, I will give you my answer. Back to Chowing Village, and yep, we are going back. Can we do anything with a vote of range aid now, or... I guess not yet. <laughs> Makes sense. Interesting, so... Is there a carp in there, or... Oh, there is just a ladder. Interesting. So how do we... Chemical and organic fertilizers. Oh, so how long did he have to wait for them to grow? Because I would assume if you're just doing bean sprouts, it wouldn't take all that long, but still. Waiting for them to actually grow. That's real. Okay. Vernier caliper. Okay, and a ruler. Stock two centimeters and height two centimeters. Okay. That's cool. Okay, four week. Oh, wow. Either way, that is impressive. It's a real science you were doing. 
Oh my goodness, and of course I fell down. It's embarrassing. Hey, can we go up a little? Yes. Come on, come on. Do you want to see if it might be on top there? But it does seem like Chow Ying is going to be end of all this. Come on. Go send some of these teapots back and... Oh! Oh, so that... Put a bridge up. That's curious. Oh. Interesting. Then, can we... Okay, come through here and... Another one. Hmm. Let's see how well we can... Okay, so another teapot to get through here. Then... It's a fun puzzle. Sends you all the way through. This unlock the range aid, or what will it unlock? This is kind of strange. Okay, just a luxurious chest. It's fine. Can't hate that. Let's just go over here and... Yeah, this looks awfully like... a celestial nail, huh? That's not suspicious at all. That's not suspicious at all. Well, right down here we've got one of these spirit carp. I'm just gonna try this out and see if that would have allowed us to get it to. Oh, a target location within 120 seconds. Oh, okay. So yeah, I would have. An unbroken nail. Yeah. Well, part of it, part of it. Then we can go down here. Well, the nails are thinner. It doesn't look like a nail to me so much as just something else Celestia related. And since it does seem like Fujin is <laughs> celestial in nature, it makes sense. Yeah, I... Uh... If you're familiar at all with International Baccalaureate, I did International Baccalaureate back in high school, and I did IB Physics. And it was a lot of fun, and I learned a lot. But it got really difficult at times. In particular, we had to do an independent assessment. Had to basically figure out our own experiment to run. And what I did was actually with bubble film. Which... I liked. I found that pretty fun and pretty funny, but it was some slow going. It... It was kind of crazy. Because, oh, it took a long time for me to even remotely figure out how I was going to test what I was going to test. Because what I was doing was... I only ever did a little bit of bio, but it was fun. That said, I was always kind of too weak and squeamish for dissections. A lot of it was just that I really hated the smell of formaldehyde. But, as I was saying... Basically, what I was trying to do was basically confirm... Sort of... I think it was diffraction. Basically, when you shine light on... Sort of a, sort of a film that has multiple layers of reflection, you can predict the color that will get reflected based on the width of the film. And I basically use different colors of light to basically verify a diagram I had found measuring the width of the film based on the color reflected. Oh, interesting. Do you want to be a doctor or... Okay, more crit damage. That is nice. What specific career points do you have laid out? If you know. Okay, so let's just keep on feeding Navia. Forensic pathologist. Oh, that's cool. I have some friends who have tried who have studied some forensic science stuff, but not forensic pathology. That's cool. So what would that entail in particular? How would that specifically be different from Forensic science in general. So we can... Oh! 15 geoparticles within 40 seconds. 
Let's get as many of those as we can. Okay, and we do do a straight shot. I'm listening. Okay, up there and... Nice. Okay, so it's all the way down there. Okay, cool. Nice, and punch it. There we go. It's in lots of geo sigils. Okay. Okay, you'll, you'll have to forgive me for being uncultured. I'm not exactly sure what that means, because I know pathology is at least somewhat about disease. So... Would that be investigating disease at a crime scene, or...? I'm so sorry. I feel so dumb right now. Got one of those over there. Oh, okay, so it's... Essentially... Sort of autopsies, autopsies. Oh, that's cool. Like I said before, I'm not sure I'd ever... <laughs> be on squeamish enough for... Oh, Home Montaigne's back here, that's fun. Unsqueamish enough for a job like that, but I'm happy that there are people with that kind of strength. That's really cool. That's really cool. Objective in this area. Bring him back to Chiang Village, but what part of it? Guess inside... here? Okay. That is cool, though. And having good, good autopsy skill... It's pretty important in the ethical sense, because, oh, did you hear about the organ theft scandal that a bunch of people whose family, families of prisoners had ordered some additional autopsies done and found that basically after their family members had died, their organs had been stolen? Yeah, that's crazy. So hopefully you can be, you can, you can keep things in check. Could Rainfall's bond bring you tidings? Your guests arrived right on time. Just tell us all about it. Interesting. Okay, 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 yeah. I'd hope you were joking, but yeah, it's, it's a really interesting field for better or worse. Glad you have a good idea of what you want to do. Tell us all about it. Okay. Septus Fujin, clear the source of the anomalies. Carp Adaptus, young master, friends in high places. Water and soil problems should be no more. I say, soil wouldn't listen. Telus, come next year's lantern right. Help honored guests. Carp Adaptus, great harvest of Telus is coming here. Take these, a token of our thanks. Ventures from the village too. Okay, and a disc over there. A little clown, oh my goodness. Back. Mind to come back? Okay, so, oh, is he related to these people in particular? Worried at all? It was all the time, after getting tired, Adeptus looking after him in secret, said Carp Adeptus. Wasn't Adeptus? It's the Swanee. Here, nobody's talking about makes some egg custard. Egg custard. Good person pretending to know. How to repay you, any help in the future? Be there to lend you a hand. And, okay, so we completed that quest line. Chinese Blessings of Sunken Jade. So, Adepti, let's get this. Okay, so we got an achievement from that. Wonders of the World. Should Shame and Song, completion of the Rain Jade Rite. Fair. Oh, hey! There are far worse ways to be inspired to pick up some kind of job. Frankly, I'd say it's a lot better than just doing it for money. Okay, so what I want to check now is... So is this going to unlock the offering over here? Let's see. Come back here and... Hmm. So not right here. You have to go over and up on the bridge to interact with the rain jade. I am... Kind of at a loss. Yeah. So this will take us up uh, some of the way, but that is profoundly strange. Maybe it unlocks at after a daily reset? I am confused. Well, either way, there's this cave over here with some ruins, but there's also this other quest line, all hydrological. 
Oh, okay. Is it down here? Let's check. Come on in. Oh, well. Another sun alacrum here. Hit. Oh. Wait. So what's that? This is interesting. Wait. All these... Okay, so... Well, I'll find it eventually. I don't intend actually putting any spirit carp in until I've gotten all 50 anyway, so... I'd be fine just finding it randomly. By the way... So Chijong Wall is probably related to a quest line, but... I wanna see. For whatever reason, I did not get... Any kind of... There's nothing with Miss Yu. Okay, well... I guess both of us don't want to get spoiled. Mutual respect there. So I am just gonna go and see how many quests are there to do over here in Chenyu Vale. Oh, okay. Yeah. That would make sense. I'll find it eventually. Hello, hello. Tension Li Wei. Don't worry about it. Details dealing sands. Calm cloudy. Chenyu Vale Trek roaming abode. So the ones we've done already are Shrouded Veil Hidden Hero, and that was the one in the old Guva place. So there are seven more quests to do in that area. I'm just gonna go and try to do a couple more. So there was someone over here getting all hydrological. I'm gonna check that out. So I marked that on the map, and you are... Hello, woe you, hydrologist. Hello there. The flow of water is good, and the conditions of the waters in the surrounding areas are quite satisfactory as well. This is great. Either way, I do want to thank you again for popping in and for being such a good conversationalist. It really does help the time go by. And I hope that this has been fun for you too. The fact that you've been able been able to talk enthusiastically about all aspects of the game from lore to team building and exploration is very, very nice. You've been a joy to have in chat. And soil environment though, a few more instruments. Some of those anchors from the chasm and the others. That was one of those carp dings. Hey, it's no problem at all. I just say it like it is. Something happened here. Traveler, a spare a moment, a favor from you. So first, a hydrologist, some investigations in Shenyu Vale research purposes, soil environment, because of runoff probably, more than just the movement of water. Oh, I think that's just in the OST. Strain, flow of the streams, geology, weather, and human lives. The hydrology of the Vale. Super complicated. Hey, it's no problem at all. In the end, talking is one of the things I can say I'm good at, I'd say, so... Glad that I can employ that skill. Complicated. Oh, also, also. Do you play Dark Souls at all? Are you familiar at all? Because that is one of the other things I re reliably do. My schedules, which I do post semi-regularly on here and on YouTube and on Twitter. I Usually I do a couple of Genshin streams, a Dark Souls stream and a Minecraft stream. I got this new the PC I have right now relatively recently and I couldn't play Souls before that. So I've been using the using it as an opportunity to actually work my way through them. Well, there are, people definitely overstate the ability for the sake of bragging, though they definitely do take a bit more effort and thought than a lot of other games, but they're a lot of fun. So if you're free on Saturday, I would recommend popping back in and check it out for a little bit. If you can, if you're free, and if it interests you. Conducting research in Fontaine. Oh, okay. Single hydrology advice, aquatic wildlife, and swept alive by the currents. Interesting. Because... It's... Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. It's a really, really cool game, in my opinion. And it bears meaningful similarities to Genshin. A lot of the things I like about Genshin are things I like about Souls, too. You know, the investment in world building. In Elden Ring in particular, which was the FromSoft's first open world, just the open world style of gameplay. 
so many things to explore. One thing I really like about Elden Ring in particular, this is getting a bit of a tangent, but in older Souls games, I'll see if I have the time. It's just, I'm trying to find a real job right now. So I'm, my schedule is about to get a lot busier. But if I have the time, I, I'll see if I pick it up. Because the author of Fate, the main guy behind, behind Fate is talking with, is going to do an interview with one of the HSR writers soon. So I do appreciate the recommendation though. But like I said... Earlier Souls games had lots of mentioned locations and item descriptions, but because of the size and scope of the game world, not all of them could actually be accessible. But in Elden Ring, pretty much every mentioned character and location actually shows up in some form, even if it's really, really late in the game, which is a really, really cool approach to take. And it means that pretty much everything is payoff. And the fact that places like Enkanamiya, like Chen Yu Vale, are showing up even after a while... The devs at Mahoyo really care about their game world. And also a lot of the lore approaches, like the shades and taking the world from dragons, is very much inspired by Dark Souls. In particular, the Black Serpent Knights, their internal name is Dark Wraith, which is just an enemy faction from Souls. So they're very much wearing their inspirations on their sleeve. Which I don't dislike. A lot of people would say that's plagiarism. But you know, good artists bar, great artists steal. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Fair. I feel like... <sighs> Maybe that could make it quote-unquote good for streams and a sort of... surface level in the sense of I would be able to engage fully with chat and not have to look at the game. But I feel like at the very same time it could lead to things getting less engaging. I'm not sure. I'll probably try it out eventually once I clear my schedule a bit more, but... Either way, thank you for the recommendation. <sighs> Hydrology device, wildlife, currents, not even going into all those underwater mechanical things placed down there. Adventurer's Guild or Headache, favor you like to ask. No problem at all. Oh my goodness. No problem. I do wonder what Corinne's kit is actually going to be like, though. You know... I feel like she has to be a main DPS, but given that Navi has been the only the only female character, at least for a while, who's been even arguably an on-fielder without literally C6. I don't even know. We'll see. Small thing, monitoring instruments on that mountain. Simple enough. Mechanical instruments from Fontaine, bore down through the earth. Deep soil samples don't require. Samples influence hydrologies have in the soil quality. Simple commission. Well, obviously something's going to go wrong if it sounds this simple right now. Yeah. And that's fair. Now, I guess you could say that she might be some kind of EM DPS, but at the very same time, Navia had white blind, and defense wasn't part of her kit at all. We'll see. Some people are saying, based on speculation and quote-unquote leaks, which Mahoyo does not like me talking about on stream at least during event periods, that she's going to be energy recharge base, but I don't know how they could really do that without getting too close to what Raiden already does. And since they both be five stars, they couldn't exactly just make her a downgrade side grade. Yeah. The only leaks I really do are kit leaks, so I know who to roll for, but even then, since I roll for everybody, it's mostly a pre-farm thing. A few adventures so I don't have to just rush when they come out. Commission lots of treasure hoarders. It looks not at all scared of those bullies, are you? Leave them to me. They should be scared of me. Instruments to you. Place them on the nearby hill. Instruments come back to me once you place the batch I've given you. That's fair. We'll use drilling device. Yeah, and what I do find interesting is that a lot of people were expecting Fiorina to be undoubtedly, undoubtedly the best Hydra support unit. Because Nikita is almost inarguably that, except for the one glaring issue of not having, you know, not being good for multi-wave if you're running here with a character like Sino who can't just switch out. But even then, she's got so much. She's head and shoulders better than any other Dendro off-fielder, even with her weaknesses. But I guess what people kind of forgot is that Dendro was Dendro and that no other Archon had been like that. 
and that a lot of it was just giving Archons a niche. Yo, know, cause Furina's whole deal. I don't think we're ever gonna get another character like Furina, or at least not for a while. You know, sort of having a quasi Marchesaes effect on her kit itself. Because that allows her well balance? Do you mean in the sense that not being able to really just have multi weight, having her application entirely dependent on her mark? Kind of balancers are out, or do you mean just strongest? Okay. Because I would say that Nahida is really strong, and the fact that she's an Orcon justifies her being a little overpowered. But she is still head and shoulders over every other Dendro offfielder. Okay. Okay, I, I'm down with that. That's a very, very good take. You know, it's kind of like Nuviet. You know, a character who, you know, you can play and feel... Okay, this character's head and shoulders over most others in their niche, but they don't trivialize the game. Because since Nahida's whole deal is applying Dendro and not even really her own damage, her being OP relies on her, relies on her having other characters in the team who can take advantage of what she provides. You know, it's... I should stop saying you know as a spacer, but... Overpowered characters don't feel as bad when their supports compared to DPSs. It doesn't feel like power creep in the same kind of way. Because you can slot them in with new DPSs and multiple other kinds of characters. There's more flexibility. It's not as limiting. That's fair, but... I'm pretty sure that in the specific niche of... Toma Burgeon, Ayato is still better. I'm not sure. It's not a big enough archetype that people probably really tested it, but still. Promising drawbridge in a bit. Okay. Where do we gotta go? Where do we gotta go? What we've got? Temporary acclimatization. Distressed about something. Up veil. Present auspices. Heavens. Their faces. We'll do that on Sunday. Set up with the device and... Okay, so that's just up there. That's simple enough. Interesting. Put that down and... Wait, what? What's this device going to look like? Somebody coming up, or...? Oh, it's just showing up the height. Place the instruments. Yeah, but... Not everything can be about pure meta. And very rarely are there situations that require... Excuse me, sorry. Require a specific character over any other... Yeah, exactly. Yo, know, in the end... It's about your goals. And I will say that people who, you know, avoid building characters and don't really try to make their account strong does kind of grate on me sometimes. But on one hand, you know, it is their choice. And also, you're not weak at all. You have strong characters. You know, you can clear whatever content you want to clear. At that point, there's no point in worrying about meta unless you want to get into speedrunning or something. Yeah, exactly. We do. Trust the device will do its job and... They don't even show up. Symbol commission, easy peasy. Well, clearly there is something more to this story. Hello. Adjustments off to do it. Is she a treasure hoarder or? She doesn't seem suspicious, but so much. Placing this one give you a reward alongside the rest of the batch. Ice bridge, fair. And yo, know, if you have Furina, if and when you get Furina, that'll get power crept too. Adjustments and calibrating wouldn't want to trouble you that much. Cliff over there and place it. Give you your reward. Mm, really hard. Always worked like this. It's still on the ground. Run in the middle of a raging river. Well, drop the instrument. Could do it. Dropped it and left. Yeah, when I first started playing the game, I just wanted to get Orcods and Harbingers. But then I realized that I would have a bunch of Prima Gems left over to roll for lots of other characters. And it's sort of, you know... I've got enough, I may as well try to get everyone. Nice. Yeah. Have you thought about making an Archon AFK team? <laughs> Water flow, specialized instruments, stationary, hard to the stream, the fort to the top, or sink to the bottom. Draw a bridge above, a rope between the two mountains. Take one of the ropes, move it in the center, and drop it into the water. Talking about that, not something left to deal with. Pass by a drawbridge on the way to our destination. Not far from here. Quite excellent, take our time. Oh, with a venti. Beautiful. 
A shot of the beautiful scenery. Great view of the surrounding vistas from on top of the bridge. Yeah, well, it looks like there's some treasure hoarders over here. Oh, and their health. Other end well, farther they can run. Oh, time to break them out. Interesting. Fair. But, so what are you trying to absorb? Save them first. Try to absorb Electro so then he could proc the Hyper Blooms, or... Also getting some Aggravates. It's interesting to think about how that team might work. Oh, well. Beat all of the treasure hoarders. One's on the other side, too. Or oh, yep! There are ones on the other side, too, that we'll also have to beat. Fun! Okay. Come on, come on. And let's just... Over there, and... Come on, yep. Let's just go out. Can we... Oh, goodness. I am definitely going to lose that burst gadget. That's a shame. Come on, and just... Over there, be careful, and... Come on. Oh, if only I had a bit more time for that. Whatever. Goodbye. Okay. Yeah. Treasure hoarders cornered nearby pavilion to catch their breath. It's cute. Oh, these are... These are the filmmakers who showed up over that way in Fontaine. Yeah. I... I find it really funny that literally... For literally years now, Mahoyo has been trying to figure out ways to not make Menti trivialize every abyss. And he still is really, really good for any 4, 9 to 12. For any ride in stock, and yeah, exactly. And it'll mostly do itself, but as long as the enemies are actually crowd controllable, that is kind of the rub. It's been a while since I tried Venti with Dendro, but if you can get him to, you know, aggravate Swirl, he deals some pretty crazy damage, even more than with other Swirls. That's all just procking crazy amounts of aggravates. But I'm sure you've tried that already. Miss Chu, it's you running into you again. Really sick now that you've done me such a huge favor. I'm shooting a film back in Liwe, art of filmmaking, trying to make a tea movie. You think rather than that, more accurate to say make some quick Mora first. You too. Guy Sirit, a master filmmaker, wants some useful advice. However, shoot big ideas and themes, actual plot, world with things intended to be featured. Left behind the scenes. First place. Film, bring attention to Chenyu Vale's excellent tease. Then maybe, I guess... Oh, wow. What he could maybe do is put down Nahida's Q, and then have Venti go on field to use his tap ease and maybe Animo charge shots just to trigger more swirls with him benefiting from the EM. That's how I would run it if I made a team like that. Honestly, next time Venti's on banner... I feel like I might try that in Abyss if possible. Gone nowhere. Pause under cities. Back to shoot a documentary. Put our knowledge to the test. Run out of funds. Already smash hit investment back in no time. Treasure hoarders on a drawbridge. The great me came to save you. From Chowing Village. Here if we want to. Maybe to get a better view. Shots of the scenery. More imposing. And maybe a bit of the wharf. Treasure hoarders. Oh, you fled all the way here. Cornered by them in the end. Should earlier were Chu and her assistance. Ah, okay. Suddenly just pop up from Will You? For now. Oh, so it's kind of like the Gourmet Supremos, maybe. They're getting their group together. Myself very well. Already know each other. Oh, just no one knows these lines better than her. Nice places to shoot. Oh, wow. So who would that have been? Was Nahida on that one, too? Join us when she's finished with her work. Way earlier, case with the film and equipment on the ground is in that case. For everything, find me in Shining Village. A reward in return, off and away, where do we leave that box? Part in a great hurry. Sure has gone through a lot. Tribulations will turn out to be a hit, your reward. Final instrument truly, check on this shoe to see how she's doing, find her fast. Arca knows where shooting her film. Check that out later. Okay. Bag of Mora. Harmonization. More satisfactory to both parties. Okay, 6,000. Oh, that's barely anything. Guess we gotta go and look for them again. Fine by me. More of this. More of the same. Dendro. Oh, so two Dendro. Because that would work well. Because that would allow you to do... 
a bit of multi-wave without having to switch back and apply, because Sinos holds your ears honestly just... Uh, how if you don't have off-field application not disconnected from waves, you knock down one wave and you have to end his first state early or deal with not having any danger up. Come on, come on. I actually need to level up Koi. And you actually get an artifact set for Dendro Traveler. At least one of the Travelers. It's definitely one of the best things you can do in the game. Keeps things interesting. Me too. I'm not sure if I mentioned this to you, but I think I did say before that I'm working on a Yai Kaza Nihita official aggravate team for the second half of Corinibus when I run it again next time. Shots first after all. Didn't lose any equipment at least. So you save all of our stuff. Return to the area in the future. A few adventures with us. Trufu Monty, shooting for that going. Currently got good opening sequence. A good artistic vision. Shot much at all. Currently a little short on money. Kaiser's tuition doesn't exactly come cheap. Soup? Is that the cause to with Pyro, Hydro, and Electro? With Bennett, I have not actually. So that would be Bennett and Fischl and then some Hydro, right? What Hydro do people pe typically use on that team? Shinja, maybe? Maybe Kokomi? I would say maybe Trifi Arena, but Bennett doesn't have full team healing, so. Doesn't really work all that well with Furina, honestly. Budget as if it's nothing. Let's we'll also turn down a few potential sponsors if you have any invitations to collaborate. Our standards and our vision. Eh, you know, only so far you can go not selling out. Funding wanted to make money. Worrying about that for now. Set up the equipment. Lord, thank you for always lending me your support. My dream is sure to invite you over for the premiere and then also take you out for tea. For a lighting, gonna get this in one take. Actors here with us. Chance whether or not we can grab a scenery shot in one take. Set the equipment and wait here. There we go. The conformist. Temporary acclimatization. Yonsheng Tea House. Oh! So they would be associated with Yelan. Ah, that's interesting. Hmm. I have not tried that. I think. Once I can reliably implement. Any given five star into an abyss clear. I'm gonna work on implementing any given four star into an abyss clear. Cuz is on right now, but he's not on the banner. Cause since oh mono hydro, I have. I think it was Zaja for better or worse who said that the thing with mono hydro is that since hydro swirls don't do AOE damage. Any given mono hydro team is going to be made better almost unambiguously with the addition of, you know, basically just any electro character. I have tried mono hydro in the past in Abyss because of pyro electors, basically, but. And to be fair, the Furina Nuviet team I sometimes run is kind of similar. Baiju's there to kind of make blooms happen, but it's really just for healing. It's mostly just his own damage. And Jean, okay. Oh, so that would be for the healing. So who would be the on-fielder then? Would it actually be Jean then, or? So that she can actually have her funny A1 healing proc? Let's see what you have to say. Gonna wait here soon for such a long time already. Decided it regarding the shot. A little more, just a little more. Wonder if they'll stay here forever. I think we've got that goof off place. Oh, Yale and on-field. To do charge shots, or... Oh, oh, to proc stuff faster. That makes sense. The Yai on-field aggravate team I've got going actually works kind of on that principle, too. Because since Yai's normals are quite fast, she's really, really good at tr triggering Fischl's, ace, Fischl's C6 bullets. So you can get a lot of aggravates from that on Fischl's end. Because at lower official constellation levels, you'd be spamming Yai charge attacks to trigger Fischl's A4. 
but frankly, I'm pretty sure that ultimately I get a lot more damage, at least at C6, from just spamming. Okay, so we got six more quests to do. And I know that two of them are in Shaoying for sure. One is over here, one's over here, and I think this is almost certainly a quest, but we did this one. Six left. There's got to be some in the wharf. Chijang should probably have one too, but I'm going to take another quick bathroom break. I've been drinking a healthy amount of water, but that does cause some issues. I'll be right back.
There we go. Now you're talking. But, ah. Uh, as I was saying. As I was saying. And the funny thing about Sword of Narcissus and Croyce is that one of the con cups was in here, as I'm sure you know, as a reward for doing the whole doing the whole Archeum Forge thing. Which this the Archeum Forge thing was perhaps one of the coolest things that has ever been done in the game, period, in my opinion. In the sense that you get all these funny rocks as part of all the other quests, and as some sort of unassociated treasure hunts and other ones. And you had to basically do everything too. You, know, you could have gone up to the research facility without the quest, but the quest sends you there. There's one that you have to break out of Meripede for, and another one from the quest in this little underground underwater facility here. Also one just on top of the arena for whatever reason. But in various relevant important places, and at the end you go and you put in the forge, and then you do a little forging minigame, and then you unlock a lore relevant area. It is interesting that it mentioned them making some kind of plant creature. I feel like that'll show up in 4.6 Fontaine, maybe. They talked about Remurian ruins. And then there was one from a side room in... Natural Philosophy Institute. Around... I don't remember exactly where it was. I was so surprised when that happened. I thought it would have stayed around forever. That level of change. Because, you know, I was, and everyone was wondering what it actually was up until it got released as a playable area. And the fact that it just ended up straight up sinking was insane to me. I did not see that coming. And then one of the Anapasis, but... And then the fourth Conk Cup is just, for whatever reason, it's with passive which is so funny it's just nothing to do with anything i mean in general wild fairy of arrhenius is weird to have as arrhenius force main world quest because that patch had two big world quest series it had the final narcissus and Kreutz one and it had the a uh, questioning machine and questioning Melusine and answering machine one, starting over by Steambird. And that went to a lot of places, but also a bit around here. It also had a bit to do with Arrhenius Forest. Well, only a little, but you know what I mean. One more to do with Mort. But Wild Fairy with Possip is the one that gets an achievement in the achievement list. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Can hardly remember her name at this point. Okay. Got a couple quests over here. I am gonna go. I just want to invest in that gate, that cave now before I forget about it. Probably gotta go on back. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Got these ruins over here, and the front entrance is blocked off, but there's a side entrance. Oh, what kind of tea? I'm a big tea guy personally, mostly green, but okay, so it force teleports you. Suspicious merchant, stop souping around. What are you guarding? That's what we're paid to do. Why? Cough, cough. We don't tell anyone. Listening, heard of people like you. Noise from deep in the cave, ruined stuff, and warehouse notice. Mm. Temporary warehouse, great mercantile value. Tea with prong, reduced antiques, tea with products. Sumter bees, transport goods. Oh, okay. Black tea's good. Is it? Is it an Earl Grey or just more of a chai? Big iron lump in the depths of the cave? Well, clearly there's going to be a ruined something we have to fight. I'm excited. Nothing gets me riled up like a good old fight. Hmm. Red Rose. I haven't heard of that brand personally. Hope it's good. 
Come on, come on. Okay, well. Oh, and I took, took some damage. Okay, come on. Get over and... Okay, so... The initial leap doesn't even do any poise damage. Okay, Caribbean. That's cool. Coming along to recovery. Oh, okay, so that... It's another day comes along. Wish Finn's tail and all. Worried about how she's doing. Damage and potato. Oh, oh. Mmm, okay. So we can go around back. Ruin guard a cave behind it. Which and heavy, how can we move it aside? Oh, place. Ruin machine core. The ruins residual energy within. So clearly, well... Gonna have to clear out in these ruins over here to get some stuff. Well... We'll just go over here and... Check out the jade again. Are you big into Caribbean stuff or oh, Wing One's back. Yep. Let's see, so which one is Mount Mount Wing Mang, Mount Ming Yuan? Wing Yuan and Ming Mang? Hmm. Wing Yuan. Hello. Oh? Okay, so we just have to speak to her. Guess bring back the spirit cart might increase your strength or something. Spirit veins and all. Here, why are you over here? Because I can't get in. Or can't you get into Carp's Rest where Fusion is resting? Mmm. Softer way back then. Abode Seal. Don't have her energy. Cannot go to her. Interesting. Didn't mention anything before she went back to rest. Escaped my mind. Do you need help? Energy possessed. Mission open the gate. Yes, I need your help. Here the whole time. I'm waiting for you. Looking for a way into Carp's Rest. Same thing. Conditions two. Go see her together. Thank you both. Follow me. I have to go into the jade or... Ah, okay. Go inside the jade and... What do you mean? Break from... Break from studying? Fair. Yeah, don't... Don't push yourself too hard. Work to live, don't live to work. Ah, secluded path. Enter Carp's Rest. So we're finally back. Nice. So wait. So is this the other end underground? And so would that allow me to get out physically? Okay, interesting. There we go, I guess. Been here before. Return to Carp's Rest. Well, I guess... is Was Dottori really a chemist? Honestly, he seems more medicine or... Cybernetics to me. Conformist, Light, Shadow, and Hydrology. Carp's Rest. Okay, cool. Just check... Behind. Okay, so... What he studies or studied doesn't really make any difference at all, then. Now I see. Now I think I understand. For better or for worse. I really do wonder what he would be like when he was playable. Because Data Mining has said he is a quote-unquote Claymore character. But, you know, that can mean anything. We open just going forward. Oh? Oops, rest. Could never open the seal. Mmm, okay. Familiarity, her power is no exception. Hmm, alright. Let's go back down here. This is- oh, we can pick that up. Maybe. Interesting. What do we have to repair? Jade fragment right. Adeptal energy lingering around it. All jades originally came from the same stone. So to join the jade fragments together. Oh, I agree. Believe me, I agree. For Fujin and... Oh! And the vote of range 8 is right there. Ah, so I think this might be where it is. Query on Echo. Calling Echo. Hmm. Okay, now... Now I think we found something. The note of relevance. Smash, Clarion Echo, and Jade shall rise from sunken mouth. 
Gain and loss are inextricable, rise and fall inseparable, wax and wane is but a dream, the river flows as it ever has. Ah, okay. Well then. See, and oh, the water is up there, but if you look up top, there's a bit of water, but it clearly doesn't really have anything to do with the actual geography of the place. Caves never really do. Oh, so it's actually kind of like the Ombre de Pool. Hmm. Voice, why did you all come here? Virgin's voice coming from down below, a little worried about you. Duan is not, I just... Yep, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> Giant sentient animal, Yuri. But your health, barely speak, came here without giving you a heads up, did the same thing to us first, thinks we're square now. Mmm, okay, nice. Brought us here without giving us a heads up. Sorry, return here to rest and like the entrance. Because some people suggested that maybe. Detore would hold a claymore with mechanical arms, kind of similar to how Kave just levitates it with Maroc. Entrance, so sorry, came here to see me, made things harder for you instead. So Hassel hiding in a puddle. Turn to the form I prefer, cart form, and Paris. Many times no need to hide yourself. Or turn back into human form. Carp is a matter of convenience. Slick and slippery, you find it a bit. Strange thing to be insistent about. Matters as you were okay. Energy wasn't consumed, just disperse. This forest and rivers weaken so much. So I guess, honestly, it would make some sense for the spirit carp to not appear until the quest was complete. But I thought that might have been a bit too player unfriendly. Energy, Golden Carpet, and Yadia Valley, and then you'd get better. In theory, that's correct, but... Hmm. Some more cart, bring them back here, recover much faster. Yep, exactly, Spirit Carp, trouble for you, not yet that feeble. Rest will be enough, not that much of a hassle. Okay, keep our eyes peeled if we run into any. We don't want to trouble you anymore on my behalf, Did so much for me. Deftal Energy, please simply transfer it into the Jade. Balances move store to the water and soil, more power to the range aid, favorable weather, and prosperous years to come. About you, Tuldi, just rest here for a bit. Oh, another spin crystal. Does it mean first time anyone has come here since Urbord left? And thank you as well, Linguon. You're worthy of your thanks. Me as you thank you for bringing Igan and Paimon here, really now. Once more, for all you have done. There we go. And we've unlocked range aid oblation. Adventures on the jade, blessings of soil and water. Hmm. Okay. Many spirit carp scattered all over Chenyu Vale. Spirit carp transfer it to the vote of range aid, increase its level, obtain the blessings of Chenyu Vale. Forty spirit carp, vote of range aid's revelation, of the remaining, and there are only fifty, so we probably don't need any of that. We will just toss them all in at the end. We can actually get a bit more here, so only 48 or so needed for Zhao, I think. Oh, is she gonna stay here? Hello. Hmm, maybe. Should be your abode, Fujin. A bit different. Deathful abode's more pragmatic. No weird mechanisms or transparent floating bridges. Whereas before, never explained clearly. Cannot create new adeptal rooms like those of the south. No abode, a cave. Whatever all abodes, we can turn back into human form. Slant, revert from human form for some time. Exhausted my power. Master died, the snow fell, melted, and fell once more after melting. Times before I could regain human form. So she is a human form, or does that just mean incarnated form? Person two, I of course, no not. Yao Jun wants a look sore. Speak such things, nothing to do with the present topic. Tea cakes at the temple fair about brewing weight loss tea. Oh, so that's what was mentioned in the Yadi of Valley, so when, when I read it some time ago. That's funny. Celebratory libations, forest forced to ask them. After all, Fujin. A look like a slightly lighter shade, just for a second, curious. Bodies are weak, like things to rend and rip prey. And hunt enemies, commanded you by Fujin. And hunt you this to you. Lingon's wishes, any wishes? Some tell me so directly. Thank you. Come, able to talk to others like this. Joy, state of mind, protection, mind you do for your journey, guaranteed success and great fortune. Carried away, try to phrase her too. 
your journey to Goat's Milling. Cool. Okay, so now, now Linguan is gone. Okay, it makes sense. So that just unlocks the teleport waypoint on the way there automatically. Automagically. Cool. Hmm, alright. What I do wonder about is... Huh. Hmm. Can we actually leave through one of these areas, or... What is this gonna actually let us do? And there are no carp down here. Hmm. Okay. There's water over this way. And what is this? So this is... Way... So we... Getting closer to the surface, and it's... Changing some things, but huh. Got the impression that I cannot meaningfully exit through here. You can maybe see some of it from outside, but this barrier is impassable. I suppose. Well, who knows? Either way, we found our way back into Carp's Rest, and that is the important thing for now. Hmm. I wonder is, let's actually put the compass back on. Switch that with... No, not like that, not like that. Switch and quick swap for... Okay, cool. For... And... Okay, so it's outside. So nothing is really getting shown there right now. That is... Passable. Yeah. Anything here, or I guess not. Hmm. That is more than fine by me. Well, I guess we'll go and explore those ruins. Uh, try to awake that ruin guard and fight those treasure hoarders off. Spot is over there. Mondstadt is over there. All those trees over in Windwell Highland. I really do wonder, what is it going to be like when they actually end up adding, well, addition to Storm Terror's Lair, which we can, yeah, we can see a bit of that tower over there. Yeah. And the surrounding water area over here, and it's crazy how this really became a complete and utter skin tag. You know, this, this is only expanded. I wonder if that might be Dornman Port related, or... This part of the water is higher. Let me get a little bit of 100% dark chocolate real quick. Second. Second. Ah. Okay, okay. There we go. Cool. Well, well, well. Oh, this way. <laughs> That we can find. Okay, actually, zoom over and see what happens when we get this sort of group of enemies. Oh, there's another spirit card. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay, and like that. And lots and lots of treasure hoarders in here. Goodbye, I guess. Come on, come on. That was pretty good. Energy regeneration from that, but eh, I don't know. I it. Something about the box. There's a boar over there. Okay. Hmm. Let's just see if we can. Ah, sniped. Poor normals, frankly, have a really, really weird arc to them. I'll say that much. Come on. Plunge down. Some of you. And the physical normals will do just fine against human enemies. Mm. I've still got that. Mm. Other half of that one jade. Fragments, Wong Chun Hall. Pretty relevant. Why is that so far at the end? I wonder how they order that. Okay, well. Primeval, Moonlight Slaying Through Shadows, Clouds Moon Feeble, Water, Beach Sand Crystals, what? 
Let's say that again. Priest and a guard. Left of the altar. Prison to the altar pre evil. Stand evil. Place and a guard. Well, after the altar. After the altar. Is that it? Overflowing brother surrounded the area around this stone arch. Oh. In that case, is that. Stone arch. Is that it? Is that it? Or. Oh, no, I think. Based on the location, it would have to go up here, maybe? Let's see. No? Wait. Not one. So the altar, your majesty, might suppress evil. Okay, or of evil, something is drawing monsters here. Huh. Let's just... I propose, call demons of evil your wretched lives. Funny. Let's just handle this with a serpent spine. Cool. Nice. Yeah, go for that swing. Actually, you just plunge down and found that. Oh, more of you. Okay, so I guess doing a little bit of plunging there might be a good idea. Hi. Okay, cool, cool. Come on, and hit. And did we, how many more? How many more? Oh, right, and we got a Thunder Helm out of this too, so... I guess maybe we should have put down Sting Chow. That's whatever. Okay, come on. Where have you guys? Hello. Okay, let's just do like this then. Lots and lots of damage too. Good old Shing Chao. Behind, oh well, that still hit me. That's a shame. Well, nothing like, nothing like this. Okay, hit and plunge with the overload and that. Guess I could have combined them more adequately, but whatever, goodbye. We enjoy death. Cool. So what are we gonna get? Is this gonna be our ruin component, or? Oh, we've got all this now. Should be a piece of return. Thank you for your aid, your majesty. Oh? Wait. Do you not say anything? Oh, I guess... It's the one on the right. It does not have dialogue, but the one on the left does? Okay. Fine, I guess. Come on. Okay, so they just both say the same thing. So we could restore this arch, but weirdly enough... It doesn't really actually line up. The one on the left is just ever so slightly off center. So this goes up, this goes down around here. It's kind of weird. Well, whatever. Come on. Should maybe be able to get all the teleport waypoints today? We'll see. It's not all that much of a priority for me, honestly. This. More spirit carp somewhere. Don't see it though. Probably just down inside this cave somewhere. That would be my guess. Get this. Keep on going. See over. Oh, and we got Ruined Defender. One of those fossils, geo fossils. Mm, oh, are we gonna need to use multiple ruined components, or that is the question. Come on. Apple fish and oh, that one isn't breakable because there's something on top of it. Okay, interesting. That one is. You have to take the core from that one and put in the other one. Maybe we'll see. Hmm. Okay, well, all right. Come on, come on. And just hit over there, and then just have Shinchu go back and. A little bit more of that, I guess. More of that, and come on. Oh, well, you're here too. Hello, I was not expecting that. Did not want that. Okay, come on. I guess I should have just brought you in from the beginning. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, cool, cool. And out of the way, out of the way. Plunge, and just like that, and oh goodness, don't like that. Okay, so that worked even with all that garbage in there. Please, please, and plunge. We get a bit more power back. Give me a big orb, and oh, interesting. Investigate. Fell onto the ground, room machine core, so that one gave me. Dropped its core. 
Interesting. Okay. This is... Okay, that's a stock and nothing is really relevant there. What's in here? It's kind of like... <sighs> Dunya ruins. Ever so slightly. Said I'm not lowering anything here. Let's just see if we can... Come on. Come on. Okay, well... May have been a spider there, maybe not. Spider webs in Ruha Pool, too. Or what might be around here. Hmm. There's some tea. Hello. Not gonna. Just mean to find butterflies and return them to the teacups, like in the tea valley, or maybe we just need to find stuff in that cave. And they stole some antiques from here and we need to return them, maybe. Oh, this is baseless speculation until I actually find whatever's going on here. So if I break these, will the water flow out? Yep, there we go. Nice. Okay. Did seem awfully conspicuous. So what is going on now? Tea stuff? Okay, well the water's back there in that pond. So now the teapot will do things. That is good to know. What is okay? Just another smashed stone behind here. It's nothing too complicated. If I go up this way. What can I find? Interesting. Maybe we'll figure it out. Down here and hello. Poor tea. And. Hmm. So what's next? So it's made one of these appear and will just send us up to Carpus Sending the Waterfall to this chest. Okay, so that was self-explanatory enough. We also got a twin nephrite, not that we needed another. I think it might be time to level up some of Navi's artifacts that the trash we've gotten. Okay. Come on. Oh, we actually haven't gotten that many chests. Solvent quests. Okay. More over there, because she was using a Petra set that Ningguang had been holding before. The goblet that had been paired with that, the off piece, is what she's holding right now. Navi is holding right now. We'll see. Actually, Navi is good. She was quite capable of clearing Abyss even without actually having Nighttime Whispers. Even with, you know, Petra which is an artifact set which did not even work well with the team besides the Geo bonus. It was just decent enough. Frankly, she would have done better with a gladiator's piece, probably. Eh, it's neither here nor there. To meet the big guy. Cool. Oh? Charging core, rusty slot. Slowly begins to move. Moststone statue, cave blocking ruin guard. Hello. Hello. Come on up, come on up. And we can plunge down here and get that out of my way, out of my way. Come on, come on. And we can just plunge on you and activate that for the smash. Come on. Plunge. Just wait for another. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good damage, too. Thank you. A walking ruin guard. And what is in here other than a spirit carp? Well, a few guys who we would like to get rid of an earthquake. Let's chase you down. Go tell the boss pronto. Beauty coming through here. Mountain King, Mountain Wang. That literally needs Mountain King. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. Just over like this then. And. Hi. Mountain Wang. And you're over here and. No good run. Goodbye. Goodbye. Investigate, investigate. Carrot wheat. Well, some stuff is in here. Doesn't even show up as a real cave. That's something. One chest in here. Lots of food. Okay. Here we got someone. Oh, it's the merchant from before. Okay. Interesting. Yep, cave entrance. And oh, those guys back there. He had a caver. Open the door. And 
Get a common chest. Funny. And strange merchant. Hello. Hi, Spirit Magnum's heroes. You guys, it's you. Since what are you doing? If you'll excuse me, valuables are behind notes of anything. And spirit turned to wait. Definitely meet again. So it's stage left. Well, okay. You're behind here. Achievement. Carp fall. Okay, long sealed carps rest. Non hidden backup energy source. We start the ruin machine. Might have been a reference to the Fontaine quest. I don't know. Hi. Poor non is personnel forbidden. It managed to come from inside. Okay, well, come on. Just keep beating him down with a claymore and. Cool. I'll just stay out of the way of that. Come on. Okay, you have a bit of poise there, but we'll just keep hitting you. Come on. Goodbye. And that's the end of that. Cool. No quest, but we did get a spirit card that we otherwise wouldn't have gotten, so, you know, can't complain. Okay, so we need to be looking for a few more quests, maybe. That down, and what did that do? What did that do? Nothing? Weird. Oh, wait. Oh, there's another one on the other side. Okay, cool. Yeah. We're in the area, so we may as well claim stuff that's here. Yeah. I do like that, you know, they encourage you to use, to use gomming a little by making it so all of these can actually use these things. Let's see. They don't disappear quickly enough that using him isn't viable anymore. Come on. We are running out of health here, so... I guess next time we do a real encounter, we'll want to use Cloud Retainer. Hi. That sent me up here. Oh, it's probably going to be on top of, top of that. Right, there we go. Come on, come on. It's going to be one more, but where is that one more going to be? There's one over this way, one over that way. Logically, the last one should be over there, maybe in that enemy. Yep, it's inside that enemy camp. Cool. Yeah. Let's just have Cloud Retainer handle this. Cool. Okay, and just like that, and... Come on, come on. Plunge, and... Jump. Oh, please. Come on. Over, and hit you. And one more. Midair, I guess. Oh, full damage. There we have it. And we can and get some little chest over there. Cool. Okay. Come on, come on. Don't really need these jades anymore, but can't hurt. Ah. Collect what they left behind and plunge down here. Okay. Got stuck inside there for a second. Apple, 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 apple. Treasure chest, treasure chest, I guess. Okay. Six remaining quests to do. Six remaining quests. That. Oh, and this sends us up. Up to what? I guess maybe if we hadn't gotten that spirit carp already, that would have been relevant. I guess this gives us a nice view of the surrounding mountains, but. Aside from that, nothing really comes to mind. Oh, maybe up here? I guess we could do this. Cryo slimes. Hello! Melt. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Kill okay. this. Some there. Oh, and just some goats. Okay. There and there. Wait, wait. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Oh, it was farther down the slope, and I just didn't see it. That makes sense. Cool. Okay. Mountain up there with the Guwa clan. Okay. 
Let's see the inn over there. That's funny. I really do wonder if there will be an achievement for getting all those teapots. We'll see. Bit of rain jade, and we can teleport to there, I suppose, but... Couple quests here in Shaoyan, which I suppose we'll just do. Behind dragon remnants. Hmm. Either way, nobody knows. Okay. Come on. Oh, we can go to seed from here. That's fun. Didn't even see that last time. Let's keep on going and get another quest from whoever's over here. Okay. Then you are Guijaro Fontanian, right? Probably. Cat has to be it. Great new one. Wrong with this cat, Guijaro. Do you hear? What are you doing in Shining Village? Oh, I see you before. Running your book. Imagine. Oh, okay, so she's the one. Got her name, I guess, but she's the one who was in Fontaine. Constantly afraid of getting murdered or kidnapped. Right away from home. This is like a Fontanian, too. Writing that book, Courtcraft of Fontaine, get printed and go on sale. In the title, what's the book about? Cowardly Detective. Pure soul sister, his assistant. Crime Museum. Evidence for countless crimes. Oh. Missing twins, a mecha puppet that cries, and a museum curator drowned in his fountain. A child that just turned three years old. Oh my goodness. Sounds hackish. Quite the case. Hmm. A puppet that cries. Can't help but wonder if that might be a reference to Sandrone or maybe even Scaramouche. Hmm. Three years old. I feel like maybe she's referencing other things in the narrative, but I can't be sure. She goes on sale, both autographed copies. I don't have to, just go to read it on her own. Read it to Paimon. Leave it to me. The best, and what does she want with these cats? Crime novel, not a horror story. Terrifying, a new novel, rough outline, new materials is inspiration. Local folk tales. Tales won't be all paranoid and jumpy like before. Reference material. Book tales move into death, something original. To the tea business, tagged along. Boats, sour stubbed with material. Pursue the matter, you two came over. Destined to meet, separated by more than a thousand miles. Colingo, writer. Understanding local customs. Nothing here. A cat. It's instead a deptal. Oh no. Colag, ordinary little kitty. Meow meow. Where Chang Village is one when beasts. So the things we fought before. Cats since good and evil concealing at night, rising with the sun, eating wind and drinking dew. Some miles in a day, tea trees at night will nourish, nourish themselves. And bedazzled said, try a tabloid like that. One beast, weird rumor that ever heard into a pond started stirring. Investigations on the details can study and use them. Timid, nothing but a name to go on. So multiple quests have been picked up from Fontaine and come here. That's interesting. Same mindset as one of the book's characters. Super confident detective, so self-assured everyone else beneath him. He searches this own riddle, turns and flees like lightning. To find that cat or after it. Interesting. Ron sprinting after the cat at breakneck speed. Chapter quickly, who knows what kind of wacky hijinks you'll get after this time. Not so fast. Many tales catch up with a cat. <laughs> Something important is about to happen, follow the fleeing cat. Maybe lead us to a beast? Oh, the dog isn't relevant here right now. This cat get back here. Well, nothing to do but keep going. There's many tails. Oh? Is a bird gonna come? Or near a kit? Think of that. Meow, 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 meow. There's one one beast. Cat meow. Doesn't know what's going on. He was looking frustrated. Oh goodness, this is going to be farcical. Mythical beast lying low here, fully grown. All the tea trees in one fell swoop. Hung Fan. This again, hardly that gentle. 
wants to fight one for her. Brings you here today. Stop mentioning things like criminal cases around here. I begin to take you seriously. You know each other. I'm here, who I hired to help me carry my baggage. Manners of Fukor. As times beasts won't appear here, won't believe me. Like you said, won't appear many ways to collect information on them. So when you were slim, must ask you not to leave the village willy-nilly. It's so dangerous if you end up encountering one, do not leave the village on your own. Resign from the cat from earlier. So it's still gonna have to go elsewhere to get her material, come then follow me. Collect information. Mm -hmm. Alright. Dahe! Isn't he the guy who heads up Mahoyo? Sorry. And down here. Let's to fly around a little. I think this Montaigne is down there too, a tea cauldron. The tea kind of special smack dab in the middle of this place too. Special significance. But it's along a fantasy story, not a crime story. You know, some adept eye into the story. What kind of plot to write for a crime story. Supernatural crime? Expressions you got there is one when beast too absurd to be taken seriously. <clears throat> kind of something like that to move the plot forward. Tell me your is one when beast. To your fame about a crime too absurd to be possible. Oh. Interesting reactions include them in the novel to be sure. One beast a perpetrator never been seen said to devour evildoers. Festival met their end at a wild beast outside the settlement. Second festival day, victim who should be dead. Other victims soon emerge afterwards. Maybe they're transforming into beasts, or... And what, I haven't found that far yet. Even now. So I finished, send you two autographed copies for sure. Big favor I'll need your help with. Village about myself, advice to heart. You're gonna force us to come with you to fight a beast. One well, can go outside, not too far off. End of your story. Standardized payment model, don't you worry. Is there a place I would like to go? Oh, Guajaro. Some weird and spooky stuff. Jump my ideas down in a notebook. Hmm. Can't help but think my thoughts out loud. Must be too excited to meet familiar faces. And are we going to go inside this house, or...? Lanterns, like fish. Fascinating. Hmm. Okay. What's next? Handles can be used to raise the lanterns up. Detachable structure. Head for engineering design. Secretly added without being discovered. Okay. Hmm. Section or two. To hide inside and do some sort of trickery. Pretty large. Insert a few, maybe people or weapons or that's to yourself. Fascinating things. Lanterns will add much to my novel. Interesting. Take a picture of the fish lantern, a reference picture. Give it to me, photo taking in your hands. Lantern incredibly important to me, dimensions, and a weight problem. Pictures of the lantern. I work with just these lanterns, what should I do? I think we're gonna have to fight as one when beast eventually. Maybe. Okay. Oh, welcome back! How are you doing? How'd you be much, Tenshi? I'm just doing various world quests in Genuvale. Now that I've completed the main one, unlocked the range of right. It's a moment of kidnapped truth and fiction. Stuff like that, just ran off somewhere, thinking about a plot line, search the area. Oh! Well, if you want to check one of my ske- if you want to check my schedules, there- I post them here on Twitter and on YouTube. So, they're all publicly available for those with- the eyes to see, so to speak. Thanks for coming back. How have you been? Oh, I already asked you how you're doing. But yeah, just having some fun here. Search the area. Good vantage point. Start from here. Start with search from up high. Do you need any more help with something? Jorogon. Imaginitis. Okay. Good old paranoia. If quick, if not, other weird stuff she might do. Let's keep on going and. So you're over here now. Talk to her. Something not quite like her. She going crazy to a Zwanwin beast or something? Oh, okay, okay. Well, always happy to ask. What do you get over here? And find the key clue just like that? That will often be tied up here all night. Do 
Totally engrossed. A breakthrough or a roadblock? You've arrived just in time. Tommy Doyle, what? 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 You're that right. But I said, hands and strip on a tree. No difference. Don't want to be a suspect. My ability document occur to me? Brum, tell you up at all. I haven't done anything wrong. Strung up by their hands, awaiting the beast's judgment for the whole night. Survive and endure the night. The truth behind everything. Whole night would feel, sound, think, or even move. Whole night, a safer way to do this. Yeah, this probably wouldn't be as effective. Hands up, stay here for the. Oh my goodness. It's not right, that novel. It's understood through the ringer. Set novel will be complete. Wouldn't have to commit any crimes. Never had to. Had to in the first place. Have to do all that much. Stand guard. Won't be dragged off by someone or an animal. Information. Probably going to be some sort of defense mission. Beast will probably come attack her. Further up. Wait for us. And a Zwanwin beast is probably going to show up and we'll have to fight it off and she'll see one for herself. Cold gets you in the mood of things. Hands up raised. Some sacrifices have been hit for the sake of writing. You know, one night, one night. All right. Wait until the next morning. Investigate, and we could. Yep, Chenny would have to even harvest tea. Should I raise my hands? Six o'clock to eight o'clock, and okay. Tea picker without anything really to say right now. What boat do you use? On who? Chinks of cash is right there, and then the water between. Storm Terror's lair and leeway. Really do wonder where that's eventually gonna be. Oh, for Sara? Well. Either sacrificial or if you have it, fading twilight. I'm not sure whether you have it or not. I don't I forget where you said you joined, but you probably don't. It was one from the Chasm event, but it has a good amount of energy recharge and it's basically identical to Sacrificial, but it has a slightly better passage, passage, passive for her. I think it's... Sack Bow because of the multiplier. Let me check real quick. I'm gonna check the spreadsheet. Because you, you have the spreadsheet, right? And frankly, a lot of it depends on your team and whether other characters also need... Some energy recharge. But it says for Sara that you want to use... That Sacrificial is better than Fav on her. Base attack... Yeah. The base attack on Sacrificial is higher than Fav. Which is why she wants Sacrificial, because it makes her attack buff more effective. Fading Twilight has an ER substat too. It doesn't have as much ER, but in the end, you don't need all that much, especially since you want to be running her with, I would say probably an ER Sands as well as <sighs> Emblem. And then, okay. Well, even then, you want to be using her with Raiden, because that gives her more ER and also allows her to build more ER to synergize with her burst damage. It's... Because if you're going to run a Raiden hyper carry team, the one people typically talk about is Sara, Raiden, Kaza, and Bennett, though I guess Severos can kind of substitute now. And if you do it like that, then Bennett or maybe Severos would be your tenacity, your noblesse holder anyway. So it wouldn't make... You wouldn't be losing out on anything by not having Sara hold no blast. Carp tree. Oh, okay. Didn't see this, sorry. The... Back to the terrace. Rujaro, and okay, so you're ready again. Character. Oh, she passed out. Alone like this. Oh my goodness. Help her up. That's dedication to the graft. Sitting properly on the ground. Quite awful indeed. My mind's gotten all sluggish. Mission accomplished. Fair. If you need help with that, I can pop in real quick if you need. Strong up left of the elements for a night. Pretty tough. Frag is gonna chase the zone beast away. That way it will surely. Okay. Pull off a super cool trick. Surely be really awesome. 
Thanks once again. My goodness. How this worked before fainting. Doctor, back to the village. Hunk Font was right. Shouldn't have left the village. There we go. Who tells you the truth? Mm. New inspiration. Is it going to be a doctor over there, or... Let's see. Where will she be? Well, I'll probably find her eventually one way or the other. Okay. You're down there in Hot Mountain. Oh, by the Tea Cauldron. Is this going to be a quest, sir? To reaction? Why don't we try? Let me see. Is this going to... Wait. So clearly this is... Huh. Maybe I have to go inside the tea workshop to get a quest? That might be. Okay. Well, just tell me when you get on what domain you'd like to run, and I can join in any time. Your Chun Ming Tea Works. Okay. And is there any quest in here? Ding Senior. Okay. I can help with that. That wouldn't be any problem at all. Yeah. Wouldn't that? Oh, there really isn't any way to go up, though. Okay, well. In that case... No problem. Hmm. In that case... Just wondering who I'd use. Hello, hello. Oh dear, nice. Real. Remain a blessing, Autumn Hunt. In that case, hold on. Pyro Enhanced. I'll just put in Bennett and Zhongling then. That'll work just fine. Let's see, let's see. There we go. There's nobody else. I mean, I do have more Pyro, but. I guess kind of who else would I be using at this point? I mean, Yoimi would be kind of okay, but. Shangling is always ideal. Okay. Let's do this. Ah. Take your time. And I can't start it myself. Oh, thank you. Over there, and... Just like this. Oh, no, no, wrong button. I was pressing the wrong button the whole time. Come on, come on. Just like that, and... Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. So we're like that, and please, please. Okay, and you need... Okay, you've got my back too, and that's good. Right, where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? Over here, and... Put that down, and... Put that down. Okay, come on. Die, die, die. Die, 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 die. Come on, come on, and... Oh, goodness. Now the reactions it does leave a bit to be desired, but what can you do? What can you really do? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, and just a few more. Put his energy back, and there we go. Cool. That said, no one was an on fielder. I wonder if. I do wonder if. Maybe using someone like. Maybe even D Luke. D Luke could be better. I don't know. We'll figure it out. That said, actually, maybe. There are no healers on the team. Someone like Fiorina. Someone who's compatible. Yeah, whatever. It worked fine enough for now. Just got unlucky with... Platform spawns. Okay. Oh, goodness. Come on. And just go over there and... Please. Please. Come on. Just go over there and... I guess I'll just... Knock you down as long as you stay in here. Sure. Sure. And just like that. Just like that. Over there, hit you, and please. Whoa, but get him. Oh. And just like this. Just like this. Okay. Got one. We got one there. How many more times can we hit you? Please, please. Please, please. And I guess we'll go for the slam attack. That can't hurt. 
And slam down again. Yeah, it activates as a quest once a day passes. Oh, and the, oh, it got its shield back. I did not pay enough attention there. Oh my goodness, that's embarrassing. Okay, goodbye. Enjoy death. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Try this out again. Ugh. How many times do you want to run this domain? Just curious. Come on and just put this down. Okay, so we got in the right place. That's nice. Come on and oh my goodness. Okay, no problem. I'm not getting impatient. I just, I just want to know. Oh my goodness. That down and, and get you and please. There we go, and come on. Die, 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 die. Okay, well, get that. Slam, and that hit, and that hit. I don't even know if that hit. Okay, cool. Everyone's getting lots and lots of energy back. Gotta love it. Oh, I didn't even know that other players could pick up Sean Wink's chili, and then that would make it disappear for me, too. That's funny. Okay. So that's the show. Go for it. Take your time. Take your time. <clears throat> then it, then it. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty key. I mean, it is her best artifact set by far, I and mean, there's absolutely no, literally no contention in that department. It's kind of crazy, honestly, how. No problem at all. No problem at all. Happy to help. Come on, and... Okay, so we got that down. Let's just put this in, and... Oh, well, that totally is. That's a shame. Come on. Overlord's kind of getting in the way, honestly, but eh, whatever. Whatever. Let's break that, and... We can... And yep, since we're not in the field... It's gonna be longer than I might like. Yeah, that's whatever. And slam that down. Slam that down and one, two, three. Hit, hit, hit. One, two, three. Go for the slam and one more. One more. There we go. Close enough, kind of. Enjoy that. There we go. Okay. Yes, that's it. Okay, cool. Feel free to banish me. I suppose I'll take my own leave. Glad I could help. Yeah, I need to do a quick couple domains myself. Ah. And I'm back in here. I need to go and, well, I've got... Oh, and since... Since I'm still technically in an instance, it hasn't updated my map position. So it's still centered on that Inazuma domain. That's crazy. Okay. Well, I'm going to go and... <sighs> run the Liwei Talent domain a few times because I need a lot of prosperity books for little Mr. Zhao. So I can get his skills to 999 for when I use him in Abyss next week. So right now they're at 777, which may be a lucky number, but... Okay, threefold expectations of the roaming abode. Chinooville Trek, Chilicon Cloudy, Dealing Sands. Okay. Dealing Sands. Sands Undertale. Hey, no problem at all. Happy to help. Okay, okay, okay. Just 
gonna go on and we need oh but today's not the right day wait what this is not the right day what did i get wrong here i got wrong here disparity is admonition is oh nice i'll check that mission is thursday Prosperity is also Thursday, so I screwed that up. I'm a fool. Okay. Okay. So what could I actually get today that wouldn't be... Oh, I could get more shackles for... To level up another fav bow for cars on use. Oh, wow. Are you using the strong box with the artifacts that you aren't really using at the moment? Facts. Oh, that's good. It's got two crit stats. That's nice. Okay, so chains of the dandelion gladiator. There's a thirsting capital. Okay. All right. Woven Dawn, we're back over here. <laughs> okay. Just gonna put in a bunch of Dendro people on this team. Okay, and we use this team. That's fine and good. Yawning wouldn't work all that well, frankly, because... <clears throat> it's all Hydro Shields. <clears throat> Fair. But... Strong boxes would be an easy way to do it because they only give you five star artifacts to that given set. It might take a bit of grinding, but you would be guaranteed it. Okay, nice. Over there, and let's see, let's see, let's see. Over there, get all of you down with a good old hyper balloon, and once there's in a row, let's just go over this way, and so this works. Come on, and let's see. Hi. There we go, all good and gone. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Oh, but he has actually got sack frags on her. That it's not horrible. It's right because Yai is still holding Witsif. Truly bound by her chains. It's one of many. Okay. Also need to get a few more experience books to feed to Experience books to feed a Farzan once I fully level her up. Come on, they're all targeting the same enemy. That's pretty annoying, honestly. Come on. And let's just go over here and... Oh, that did not hit you. How did that not hit you? It's ridiculous. Come on, come on. Please. How many times do we have to bloom? Bloom you. Oh, I got you. I got you. Come on. Bloom core is gonna do it. Okay, good. Come on, come on. There we go. That was more than a little scuffed, but if it worked, it worked. It's a bit more condensed resin. Get that down. Save more town books for shell, I guess. There's one more. Some more resin. Okay. Some more stuff tomorrow then. Hi, and okay, that got all of them, that's nice. And we can put that down. Get you, 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 and you. Hello, hello. As long as you can get that burst back, that's actually quite easy. Okay, mark both of you then, and come on, come on. So over there, hit with that and hyper bloom in the end. Good, and we actually got it all back that time. Let's see how many more times we might need to run this domain. Go and craft a few of the horrible. Yeah, sorry to hear that. I mean, in the end, there's no shame in using a four star artifact temporarily if you have to. I mean, it's never an ideal situation, but there are far worse ways to go about things. So. Farzan has the other fav bow. Yon has the other. Send this now. Some cores and some water flower and nectars. That might take a bit out of me. There we go. Cool.
cool. Let's see if there's anything of note that we're losing. Okay, nothing really valuable. It's white tassels, but we only really ever needed one. We need four, and we need a bunch of those. Or the gold ones. Let's see. Or the gold ones. So if we crafted a few, how many would we get? 13, so four of those. 21, so seven. Mm, I'm not sure how much I want to go in for this. Given the... I save as much resin for tomorrow to use on gel. We'll see. All right. I will go condense some resin and try doing some item crafting. Simple as, simple as. Okay. Back. Put this stuff in. Make a bunch of these chains. Bonus production. Thank you, Albedo. Thank you, Albedo. No bonus production that time. Well, well, well. And we got no bonus. Okay. Dream of the Dandelion Gladiator. None of those right now. We'll get two. If we got really lucky, we could get four right now. Don't think we'll get one. Yep, we didn't even get one. Okay. Well, Farazan can stay with that bow for now, and we will condense some resin. Come on. It should be a good amount for today. There we go. We've used up 160 resin a day, which is over the cap of 150 already. So in that case... Which would it take for the four hours beforehand? Yeah, that... Okay. Hmm. Just use some when I wake up tomorrow. Get all efficient with it. So what other quests? There was one more there in Xiaoying. The other ones are what I'm looking for. I feel like this might have something to do with those teapots. Oh, wow. So do you have a husk set on her, or what artifact set is she using? Over here are Uncle Rose. Okay, so clearly we're going to need to recover the fire. Oh, actually, I think. So fire's over there. Pyro over there. Pyro Animo and... This one is Hydro. So I saw... I wonder if it lines up direction-wise. There were other similar cauldrons in other parts of the village. So it doesn't entirely line up, but I saw one over here. Maybe the Hydro won't be over this way? We'll see. Defenders, Husk, Lucky Dog. Okay, that'll work for now. So I assume you're gonna try to upgrade a husk eventually. Back, and tea cauldron tech, yeah. It's a pretty annoying domain of farm, frankly. You need some good electro to do it. I have tinkering with it over there, tea problem been solved. As indeed, cauldron to be fixed here into a tourist hotspot. Find treasure given to Chowing Village by Cloud Retainer, oh. What's gone wrong with it? What's she doing? Either structural analysis, bond graph, the tea cauldron. Over there, there she is. Real chingong. Not what that is. Finishes the examination, and I guess we'll probably need to recover the other pots. Cauldron, from the look of it, are back. Worry about the tea cauldron. Okay. Don't worry, problem that can't be solved. Tea cauldron, sea cauldron itself, as the bond graph I've sketched. Oh, source should be fine. S several gyrators, several spinners. Flow. Technical terms. T cauldron is fine. Connected mechanisms, elemental energy to act a little funny because it uses animo, pyro, and hydro, it seems. Mechanisms monoliths. Mountain ley lines wind. A sacred stone's chaotic elemental energy. Hmm. Terrifying thing. Not much to the ley lines. Not directly connected. Structured operating principles, the same, must have been phenomenal artisans. Wrong there, mechanical mysteries at work. Come up with such ingenuity. Monolith, three phase asynchronous, not at the same time. Elemental tuners. Tuners. 
when guillotine construct constrain the layer dampen or to regulate the elemental energy. So it's cloud retainer plus Elaine. So if Sandrone is Elaine, or otherwise related to him, given that she, he, it looks like Mary Ann. And frankly, the robot behind Sandrone is probably Elaine. That's what I'm banking on. That, I wonder if there could ever be a meeting between Cloud Retainer and Elaine. Oh, okay. I'll check right now. Dampener, blue pencil, and loss principles should be the same. It should be. Such things, problem series can be fixed. To concern whether it's serious or not. Whether or not it can be fixable. It wasn't fixable, left a long time ago. Repel fools, magic to make it irreparable. Fundamentally the same, without being maintained or repaid. Problems will arise. Said system or ingenious collapse will have to run completely on their own. Hmm. Wonder if that might have something to do with maybe Sandroni's relation to that lie detector robot curve? The tuners. Too far from here? Take a look, should be able to fix them. Come help too. Waiting around, let's get going. Do your good songs and the technician. Okay. Just the three monoliths. Okay, I'll check again. Fair. Let's see. Flower. Oh, attack percent instead of flat attack. Oh wow, that that's really good. I I think that that's on the higher end of what you can really hope for with artifacts in this game. That crit's good. Two crit stats and energy recharge. That's nice. So the mountains, Sirius can be fixed quickly. Hmm, okay. So where in that case? Oh, we need to put it down. Threefold expectations. Monolith within the mountains. So that one over there, yeah, monolith. And down. Oh, so there was that one down that way. Okay. Interesting. Down, mountain. Hot mountain. Mountain. Story and Rose Clouds. Stone Catalog. Where does Jade Void? Ah. But the clouds. Oh, Sova! Joying amid the clouds. Trial of Heaven. Oh, so. Taishan Mansion stated it was the Trial of Earth. And. So the dwelling in the clouds was the trial of heaven. Well, it depends, because not every Raiden team has her use her EM. If you're using her with Aggravate or as a Bloom Trigger, she does. But if you're doing her as a Hyper Carry, or, I mean, she does trigger some Electro Charge, but most of those are getting basically detonated by Zhongling for an Overload Vaporize if you're doing Rational. It's... it's weird. Let's see, mechanisms. So where does... Mentions lots of machines. Okay, where can I find... So it should talk about her. Machines. Does one of them mention the Bloom Pruner? Is that just the official drip marketing, or...? I can't tell. Don't mean... Let's see. Huh. Well, whatever. I'll read that eventually. Oh, right. It's here. Supreme Cuisine Machine Floating Toting. Bloom Pruner. Star Wicker. So it does not actually mention... Well, she has the Supreme King Z machines in her idols, too, and the Bloom Pruner was the one from Last Patch's event. It's Snowdrift, though. Yeah, but it doesn't mention these cauldrons, at least as far as I can tell right now. Alright. That's fine. Let's go down here and... Hello. Flashbacks to Lumidusa Harbor. Mountain used to work there. Oh, I think that was mentioned in one of the documents. Casanul sent me here on business first. Hmm. Oh, I can hang around there with nothing to do. 
think they did mention a Miss Hall Montaigne there. Or recall correctly, but I'm not sure I do. Resonate with? Wait. What is this gonna. Oh, it's gonna move it nearby, and I guess we need a lantern, maybe? Is this going to. Some of them are moving around, but. Strange. Have to be one of the other lanterns we could pick up and activate those with. Maybe. Don't see anything over there. Weird. Well, alright. We must simply continue our search. Hopefully not in vain. Either way, you got a good artifact. I'm glad for you. Wait. So, it's gonna be up on here, maybe, or? It's very clearly, I need to find something. What that is. Hmm. Just need to do this, maybe. Well, let me just put Ghani on real quick to snipe those. Come on. I want to be really funny, I could just use her frost flakes, but. Frankly, that's kind of cheaty. Come on down, come on down. Oh, please, please. Come on! It's gonna keep shooting, 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 shooting. Oh, I'm gonna have to lead my shots a little. Don't like that. Don't... Okay, there we go, oh, just in time. Cool. And so is that piece of cross right gonna keep going? Maybe. Okay. Shen, huh? So how can I actually activate all that? This is getting kind of strange. Okay, well, we have to go up here and get a lantern from up top over here, maybe? I really don't know. Doesn't seem like it. Well, well, well. I am well and truly in a pickle. Weird. Profoundly weird. Yeah, because... If there are lanterns, you need to have a way to light them up. So these ones are moving in closer, but there's no big... lamp to do that with. <laughs> This is bizarre, curious, and more than a little disturbing. Maybe if I... No, pitting it does not do that either. So in that case, elemental sight is not giving me any immediate clues. Might just have to look this one up. I hope not. Aw. Yeah. In that case... Maybe I need to be affected, but no, then Shinchas would have done that too. And that would have done the trick, and it clearly didn't. The quest is supposed to just be in this area. You've already resonated. Oh, it's the one that was spinning. Okay, I just need to pay more attention. There we have our information. Okay. Goodbye. That one's gonna move on to the next one, maybe, and hit something else. Okay. So when they do say, in this area, they do mean in this area. Oh, there we go. Nice. That should mean, hopefully, being able to... Activate all this. We'll see. And just like that, there we go. That should activate this one. And it puts the lotus back, and now this is glowing again. Seems, yep. It was not glowing before, I think. Pretty sure. Let's figure it out, probably. Physical elevation of the Fontaine Research Institute itself. Strange comparison is that. And yep. Since this is lit up, I can't interact with it anymore, but I didn't need to, so that's okay. Find a way to get up top of the mountain here. Okay, cool. Way up top. Climb up over here. Okay. Teleport waypoint and the other monolith. Okay. 
And I think I'll avoid that hill trail for now. Probably. So eventually, there have been some cases where activating a bunch of balloon blossoms will make a chest spawn, but I'm not sure this is one of those times. Maybe we can get that teleport waypoint and get that done. Okay, so this is the animal one, because I ran into the horror one before. Semi-randomly. So what is here? Cup-shaped thing over here and... Shushan. Lend me a hand. What are you gonna say? Seriously learn the craft of masonry. Oh, so she can do ore deposits. Hopefully around here slowly if you're interested. Wait, places where magic crystal ore to spawn. You are... Intelligent looking youngster, stone masons, my family, ancestors. Go by my family, retiring, and apprentice worthy. Maybe that may be quest related. Be Hall Montaigne. Craftsmanship, kind of transporting stone, stone surfaces, stone masons, in order to perfect their craft. Jade to be found, high quality stone lying in this veil, roots, and houses. The only stone mason family craft continues shining brightly. Am I wrong? And the young people. Skill and stamina, training from a young age. Too eager for success, wrong path, fancy skills, pure white stones, mementos, tourists, souvenir, not worth it all, too expensive, not the equal of jade. Houses, roads, and bridges. Oh, interesting. Goodbye. Take care. Just go and resonate with this monolith. And okay, so we're floating now. Oh, so this is going to be one of those. That move that? Let's see. We'll talk and see what happens now. Oh, hello. We hit this. There we go. And oh, lots and lots of these. Could use a bow or we could just... Yep, do that. Use her jump to do that. Where is this going to send us next? Went up higher for more of these funny anime slimes, I guess. Get in close and maybe we will. Come on. Come on and... That takes some time, but... I think there's a bit of amusing whimsy in doing it like this. Okay. Come on, wait for it to... Go back. If I had another animal, it would have taken even less time to come back, but... Oh, and oh my goodness. That was embarrassing. Thought I would have been close enough, but I was not. Is that gonna make... Okay, the other ones have not come back as a result of our prior failure. That's a relief. That's just... There we go. Oh, oh that's funny. I thought we would have done it with a bow, so it froze us in place. Fine. At least we didn't take damage. Corresponding circuits should also be working now, too. Here's to hoping. It's also just a few things up and running in no time. Mm -hmm. So let's get this before it flies away from us. Okay. And we only have this one left. Be the fastest way to get there. Oh, it would probably just be. Going from Chaoying, because the statue is close to it, but we'd be scaling up the entire mountain wall. That would be a little inefficient, to say the least. Okay, nice and fast. Seeds of Mount Women, well... Screw you too. Come on. Set here. Oh, hello! Sure, go ahead and do that. You're allowed. Come on, and... Vaporize, good stuff. Bye bye Oh! A few more. No, just one I forgot to kill the first time around. Now we're here, thank you, Xing Zhao. Have sword, adjust a three. Oh, it's gonna be one of those puzzles from before. Sooner gotta be that over there. Will this lower the water level? Maybe. Let's see. Isn't it with a monolith and wait. Wait. Yep, it will. Okay, cool. Go down here and we can do the teapots, because they were Essentially, so it's still moving. Interesting. Kinds of puzzle, the Animo slimes from before, the lotus lanterns, and these other kinds of lanterns. So there we go. T-Bot should be working again. That didn't take long. Nice. 
Thank you, T. Cauldron. Thank you, Cloud Retainer. Complete all good over here now. Look for Uncle Low. What about Uncle High? Interesting. So I'm wondering where the other quests will be. So there are four more after this. Hello. Dayin. Montagna, can't talk to her. Let's help. All three mechanisms have now been taken care of. If we could do it, it's an extraordinary skill. Come on, final checks now. Shouldn't be any problems. Wouldn't be able to help out again. Would you? Head up together. The tea cauldron. Tea cauldron. Well, at least something like a surprise appears on her face. What's up? Something strange about the echo. Thump, thump, thump. Miscalculated, maybe. Too abstract anyway. Thump, thump, thump. Empty should be much clearer, unless it's full, and there's something inside, maybe to find, or some treasure, maybe? Guillotine could be a reason, the problem. Inside, take a look inside. No, no way, surely. Which place is I'll check it out myself. Oh, maybe it's an adeptal realm. Like the Serena Teapot, and there's something inside. Response, or like this. Yep, exactly. We got sucked inside. It hurts always being right. Two okay. Threefold elemental creatures accumulated within. Ah, okay. Creatures in here too. Elemental sedimentation. Operating normally, as long as they were disposed of. Okay, well let's plunge down, grab this. So many of them. Okay, more kinds. We got Animo, we got Animo, and we got some of this. Let's just get as many down as we can. Come on, come on. Come on. And we got you over here. You over here, and... Plunge, and... I have a storm. Mountain mist. Oh my goodness, another I have a storm. You're relevant again. That's crazy. Okay. Let's just... Do everything again. Immune, immune, immune. I don't care. Come on, let's just... Get on this way. New freezer. Go down, or... Freeze you. Nice, and... Plunge, melt, vaporize. Oh, and you're summoning more now that... Oh, and you're immune during all this. Oh, interesting. The shockwave. Oh, now we've gotten them all down. We get more. Okay, makes sense. Get down here. Come down here. Once we clear a few more out. Yay. Oh, well, we messed that up. Yeah. No, it is nice. Even though... I the storm still doesn't have drops. They're making it somewhat relevant again. Given that it's been an enemy that's been around since the start of the game. Feels good to have it be relevant. Come on. Going inside. Wait, wait. And if you left. And then another one show up in for the 4.2 Arrhenius Forest. Which was cool too in my opinion. Come on, just a few more physical hits and finish it off. Goodbye, unless an elemental. Let's get out of here. That was fun. It's the old Liyue Domain background from... You know, the original Liyue one-time domains. You know, the ones with Ruin Hunters and the ones with... Stonewall Mighty Churls. It's a real nostalgia going on here. You want to know how to play that? I mean, it's two, three-year-old nostalgia, but what can you say? And we have cleared out Cloud Retainer's teapot. Three kinds of slimes and one kind of Eye of the Storm. You know, when Dragonspawn was first going to come out, they announced that they were going to have a Geo Eye of the Storm out of there, and then they just didn't do that. I guess maybe they thought that adding more enemies that literally did not drop anything except for sometimes dropping one trash artifact would not have gone over well. Frankly, all they had to do was add a drop, and that would have been fine. They're interesting enemies and frankly i like that they stay airborne that said every time they try to add enemies like young boy drake and stuff encouraging bow use people do get kind of angry where it's sick and suck people in like that hmm check this out is it gonna work again or oh it's flowing out mutation just regular water incredible holy spaces guillotine couldn't do such a thing so i'm better than you in teapots you haven't been to that's how it goes to say, without you, the tea cauldron wouldn't have been repaired so quickly. Thanks for your help, Hot Montaigne. Tanya, Tony Mountain, same thing anyway. High Mountain, then. Thank you, Mountain. He's efficient as processing it in a workshop. 
How true is a divine treasure? Surely a real tourist magnet helped provide a less charming village. Centuries old tea making traditions. A few more of her entry tickets. Expect the Adepta. I promise you this will boom. Adepta will smile upon us when they see it. Kind of respect. As well, the future is looking bright once again. Tea and snacks win for us the next time we come. It's saying VIP is now pushed back. This batch is done. Quality tea for you to sample. Tea I am tea and a cauldron. Another quest done. Tea cauldron and showing the village. Let's go and get rid of that annoying notification real quick. Let's see, can we? There's nothing in here. And it's not like we can go back inside anyway. Let's get rid of that real quick, real quick, and I will need to take another quick break after that. What can I say, you know? When I talk this much, I need to drink a lot of water to keep my throat in shape. And when I drink that much water, well... That's pretty predictable. <laughs> And just around here. Being able to strafe like that and go on a little curve is so maneuverable. I love that. Doing sands, chilly con cloudy, and maybe I'll trek in the roaming abode. I do feel like one of them has got to have something to do with Chijong Wall. Maybe. Maybe some stuff over here. I feel like going in. Getting the remaining teleport waypoints could allow us to maybe send some more quests. So at least tell us where things are, so... I'm just gonna go down to Yulong Wharf real quick and see what might be there. Okay, Yulong Wharf. Over that way. That's the direction of that one last teleport waypoint. That's just... Oh, goodness. Yeah, let's plunge before we die. That might be nice. Let's... It's up there. Okay, so I can see it now. Okay. Let's just take advantage of the carp. Thank you. Thank you. Go down and blast off there. Cool. One unlocked and that one last watchtower over there. But do you even have dialogue? I'm not even sure you have dialogue. You are... Location Millilith. Okay, well, go back to the wharf real quick. Across the sea from Fontaine. Okay, so somebody has a quest for us. That's good to know. Over here, we got one of those. Should be a few more in the other parts of the city. If you can call this a city. Which, to be fair, I would. Tea House Waitress. Tea Merchant. Oh, and there's. It's a random chest over there. Cool. Grab that. Thank you. Okay, well. Let's look around the city a little bit more. I like this architecture, all this white stone. It's definitely quite pretty. Oh, and this big covered bridge with another chest at the end of it. And, of course, we bonk our head on one of the indoor walls again. How reliable. Okay, and... Which way is... Okay, just another part of the village, then. Or town, or city, or... However you'd like to describe all this business. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see anything over here immediately. So it's probably on one of the ceilings, if it's over here. Eh, whatever. Maybe up top. Never mind, never mind. Come on, come on. Oh, there was a common chest. Where? I can sense it from here, but... Is it inside one of those spots, or...? Oh, it was just on this side. I was grabbing at it through the wall. Curious. I can't break these. Oh, wait. Can I? <laughs> I can, it just has a pretty hilarious amount of HP. Let's see what happens if we break these. Will a chest show up? Let's see. Millith would like to spar with you. Nice. Oh, so this is another opportunity to fight overworld Millith enemies. Well, human Millith enemies, which has not happened in a while. Cool. 
Come on, come on. Yeah. It's truly Skilt Sparth, that's even just a bit more funny. This is Mela Sergeant. Come on. Luckily, literally any single attack is good at Boys of Human. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize how tall this guy was. He's bigger than even a standard human enemy. Okay, let's go for more of this. Or standard physical attacks. Goodbye. Skills are simply extraordinary. We humbly concede defeat to your might. That was fun. We're not going to take no for an answer. Come on. That miss. Completely miss. Come on. And we will hit it one more time. And okay, so the red one was the one that gave us that funny little exploration bit. Hmm. Come over here. Will there be Is it more over maybe by the ships? Maybe by the ships? Let's see. Just gotta make sure we don't miss out on any quests that might otherwise give us some rewards or at least change some things in the world in ways we might want to avail ourselves of. Okay. So this song is kind of a remix of Relay Harbor's main lead motif, a little. back. Thank you for being patient. Okay. 
So I'll be on for about another hour, give or take, and I think I can knock out at least one more of these world quests by then. Just one more spirit card. Let's just get that before I... Let's just get that before I forget about that. Come on, come on. Let's just... So I can maybe get up there. Do I have to climb, or is there going to be a carp I can use? My butt is going to be climbing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Got to be some of the way like that. Okay. Okay. Go back and... I guess we can climb up here more immediately. And well, alright. That's fine. Okay, climb up this little... Pokey stick. There we go, we got another spirit carp. Now we want to go back to this bridge over here. Please says evil and bring people good luck. Okay. What I do wonder is whether the solitary swanee is Ling Meng. You know, because they look identical, but I guess maybe checking the creatures or I guy would tell us whether they're identical or not. Let's see. Tainted, not the abyss, but factions mystical beast. It should be in there. Solitary Swanee and mystical mountain lord, leader of the Swanee. So I guess I should be the leader of the Swanee. Show dance. Who knows, because we only see either one or two, depending on whether they're the same or not. It's kind of weird. And maybe another quest might be down there. Maybe. Well, we got two things of tea. So, is it going to be all the way up top that we have a... Oh, well, Fangju Communications Office staff. Okay, here to take part in the Our Chenyu Vale Trek Scenic Photography Contest. Spin crystal right there. So that name implies beautiful scenery of Chenyu Vale. Captivating scenic spots. Christians using their cameras. Here's a post. Sure. Practical person. Prizes. Special surprise just for you. Or all then. Award isn't selected. Satisfaction. Where do I start? And it's scenic spots. A hometown shopping village. Crossed out location. Jade Mao gemstone orb you yet to set. So that opens up the rift. Ancient tea tree king, lotus pond. Monsters nearby, Mount Zvanuyan. Strange mountains with a moving sunset. Crossed out. Fully signed up for a comprehensive display. One or more of them. All the remaining locations. There we go. One and four. Take four photos. Goodness, not how probability works. One quarter multiplied by four equal to one. Well... It's more of an exponent there. That was for the taking. New Bell Scenery Guide. Complete it. Scenic spots recommended by locals. Alright, let's get this. Pick up and Maui. Bonju, all the best of luck. Cool. Let's check that scenic guide and go to the locations. Let's see what quick we got. Not the travel permit, but the... Wait, where's the guide? New somewhere. Oh my goodness, I cannot apply. Okay, it's there. Shao Ying, Jade Mouth, Tea Tree King, and Nazwana. Let's see if it instantly highlights them or we have to navigate ourselves. Okay, so it sends us there. That's nice. Alright, alright. So it's that part of Jade Mouth, actually. Curious. Go over there. Come on, Zhang Yun. Kazuya. All the way over, and yep, yeah, let's just use that to jet down real quick. Huge circle with a big mouth. Jade Mouth, pretty spectacular, don't you think? The orb, too. A good spot for our photo. Taking the area time between 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock. So that's not even quest really, they just want us to have nice pictures. That's cute. I wonder if this will 
No, but we've already got... A few points for this, right? Okay, well... In that case, I will actually put Charlotte in the party. Given that she takes pictures from a first-person perspective at will, which is normally something you have to... You can't really do at will. Okay, so it is activated already. So all we have to do is put her in the party. So, you know, if they want us to have nice pictures, you know what? Let's take some darn nice pictures. Okay, well... Taking a picture should be taken between... Well, I do not want to... How did she get a... Oh, she got a bond of life because... For impurity and when he use a skill. Ah, uh, okay. Another one, okay. Nothing the pearl mounted on it. Clock, ten o'clock. It's a good picture. So the scroll wheel adjusts camera distance. That's... Okay. Should be centered, maybe a little off-center. I like that. It's... I actually like the zoomed out view. See more of the area around it, too. That's good. Oh, but it actually... Oh, it's got... <laughs> it doesn't make a difference. Okay. Just gives you a picture. You know what? I don't care. I'm taking my pictures, too. They can... They can cry about it if it bothers them that much. And frankly, I doubt it does. Trickle Jade Mouth, a beautiful picture of the Jade Mouth. I mean, if it's a Jade Mouth, clearly there's got to be a Jade Butt. Or Jade Food to feed to the Jade Mouth. I'm sorry, that was disgusting. Come on, come on. Let's keep on going, keep on going. Oh, well, there we go. We got combat here, too. Just gotta beat up some guys before we can respond. God books that there's monsters. Lovely. Some tea tree king. Come on. Oh, and I'm frozen. I'm frozen. Can't make this up. Come on. Come on. Goodbye, goodbye. And please. And slam down. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Monsters are no match for you. 19. 2. 200. Someone's idle musings. To drop falls from the autumn night, glistening on the lotus leaf. Poetry. Hmm. So the ancient tea tree king. 19 to 2. 20. 19 to 20. Nice and late at night. Give it a beautiful evening view. Alright, alright. I'm fine with that. Take that picture and she was Lotus Pond and So wait, where is Lotus Pond then? If we can Where do we have to No not like that? Oh, and because it's still technical use of the skill, that means that we lost. What I do wonder is it's not a bond of life that drains, so how long would it... This is not the picture-taking area. Strange. Well... Lotus Pond. Beneath the moon. Taking between. This is not... Oh, I guess... It doesn't actually work... If you zoom in, because you won't see enough of it. Okay. This... Yeah. But the timing's off now. We took too long. This is literally so sad. Guys, I boofed it. I boofed it. Okay. Well, we can get a little bit of Mondstadt over there. That's nice, too. And the water area between Mondstadt and Leeway, and that... We'll hopefully get added with John Report, I guess. So silly. So silly. It's not an adequate picture of the Lotus Pond. Actually, actually. Can I zoom out enough now? 
so now I can do it. Now I can do it. There we go. That's good enough. That's actually very close to the one that they gave us. What is Palm Beneath the Moon? Another one for safekeeping. Okay. And down to There's one gone. Chugging. Well, let's say there's one gone for last. Why not? Just one bathing in. I wonder if we can keep those pictures or not. Oh, that makes a crazy difference. Let's see a little bit of that then. Oh, and the moon basically pierced by the mountain. That is a very cool aesthetic. I like that a lot. Well, let's go find our photo taking spot. Oh, you're right here. Oh, well. Oh, Fontaine Fontaine from Trostool. Coughing fit. Name application site Ramondo. Someone to come kidnap me, feeling guilty. Actual business institute, someone to repair something. Anyone with Medusa Harbor decide to send me. Sooner at Hydrology, application sign, theoretical, spotlight. Don't rat on me. Okay, well, take your time, take your time, I guess. So what location? Pelicans. Oh, so is this part of the quest too? Will it? Ah, uh, okay. Really cool picture, but objective in this area. What happens if I go over there? Oh, you go over and the pelican does funky things. And this is how you get the fish for the cat. Chilling village. Hree, 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 ong, ong, hree, hree. Is that Mingjing or the kid or saying pelican talk? Great, great. Speak pelican. He, don't stop. <laughs> Can mean a lot of things. My goodness. What if they hate the food? Because they think there's food. Yourself, gotta get home now to teach you some more. So, let's get home quickly. Attract a pelican, increase our work's chance of success. Oh my goodness. Well, alright. So, go over there then. So we can take this picture. Call for pelicans. 15 to 17. Okay. Good enough for me. Beautiful Chaoying Village Sunset. Ah, becoming a real shutter bug. Better than other kinds of bug. Pelicans and free free on on free free. Hit in Chaoying Village. There we go. Okay. Another. Now look in two emerald ducks in the picture. Nice. Do this. Let's... This is a nice... setup. Guess of Chaoying. And they're gone. Oh, actually, no, they're not gone now. Do it while it's ducking its head in the water, too. Fun. I like it. You know, it's... I wouldn't say I'm following the two-thirds rule precisely. But, but, I take pride in my aesthetic sensibility. Just besides the pure contemplating the anglers of Chaoyang. Oh, so is the idle musings related to the locations we've taken pictures in? We've done Tea Tree Slope, we've done Jade Mouth. Let's actually go back to where we took that picture then and see if we can find another little cone there. I guess cone isn't exactly the right term to use, but who minds, really? Nice meditative little poem. Some lots of these. Done. Okay, yep, exactly. There are more idle musings over here. Beautiful jade is taboo, for the jade will first be consigned to dust. So was this maybe a way to try to get people to find all these... Poems? Interesting. Over, avoid that. We did a miasma challenge over there before. Let's see. Okay, so that locked chamber, which will obviously be opened by that funny tea kettle quest. Lantern, tea kettle. Tea kettle like lantern. Lantern like tea kettle. 
Who knows? Maybe it is all the same in the end. It's interesting how that lake is so high up. But when, you know, previously it was just all indistinct. It's pretty though. And, oh, well. Somebody seems to be. Maybe he's the poetry guy. Maybe. Someone help me. Akai. Let's go have a look. Hello. Nice, nice, nice. Charlotte's in here right now. Don't come any closer, are you? Good people. Save just now. Hit your head on something, or... Mm, there is the poet. Shinya Vale Trek, nothing but dizzyingly bad luck. Thank you. Photography contest, too. Your tourist couldn't do anything about hill trolls. So the road brought me back here without letting me get a word in lengthwise. Don't collect tolls. Preposterous. And to you guys. Tough day for you, indeed. Expensive camera broke after only a few uses. Find him. He was gone. Shady guy on your wall while you're out and about. Mount is one yard. Photography spot and around here. Mark it on your map for you. Right over there. But you then participate in the contest as well. Rather dangerous. Switch things up. The tea tasting adeptus. Turn out well for me now. I wonder who that might even be referring to. Somehow I feel like whatever that is, it might actually be more dangerous. By the way, there should be idle musings nearby, if it's anything like the last ones. Let's see. Great angle. 17 to 18. Gotta get that little lantern in there, I guess. And we kind of just barely missed the time. That is... That's okay. That's okay. Oh, all right. Ooh, I see Mount Hula over there in the other parts of Liyue like this is such a fundamentally different perspective. Really does feel strange. And Mount Zwangon and let's get as much of it as we can and no, that's too high up in the sky. We're also Way too close. Don't need that gold light in the way. There we go. See a bit of the sky and get that gold bit out of the way. See a little bit of the cardboard stuff. That's cool. It might as well over there too. And it might have been a bit more zoomed in, but they didn't have to deal with the cardboard, did they? They got to cheat. Investigate. Gee, Beth, we got them all as a post. Go on. Participants as hardworking as us. Prize after all this, it'll be a total travesty. Maybe the prize was the friends we made along the way. Maybe. Yeah. Those and move out of the way of that. But is there anything over there on the mountain? That's the real question. Well, it certainly doesn't seem like it. Maybe I could. No, I can't pour tea here either. Okay. Wonder if they could eventually make Lingo unplayable. I feel like, given that the entire deal with the Schwanzo Beast is that it does both Animo and Hydro attacks. You'd have to wait until they maybe eventually start adding multi-element characters. I don't know. I feel like it would be an easy way for them to sort of spice things up and maybe, God forbid, power creep if they wanted to, but... Especially given that Dane's Leap has an 8th element, we know there's going to be an 8th element. Once you've experienced. Ah, okay. Hey, old friendo. Well, so I guess Bond of Life maxes out it. <laughs> that at your maximum HP. Competition as well. Photographer Fontanian. Photography lies within the camera itself. Well, but without exception. Oh, the cheater. I got my hands on one. Get an extra discount. Don't leave. Somebody is suspicious. See, so look, submit your photos, leave them with me. Not bad at all. Beautiful scenes, well done. Swan Leon, beautiful picture at Chiang Village. Swan Leon, guests of Chiang, Lotus Pond beneath the moon, and 
triple jade path. That is one that is the only one without any kind of qualifier. It's photos, or is that good enough? Opposite, since submissions refreshing all the same. Such a liveliness of the tranquil village, stillness and movement, one of a kind approach. Selected for use, but what's going on? Shall and Hotline took, Paris now too. Process completed before tomorrow morning, 8 in the morning until 6 at night. So works on the street outside has a post. Mmm, come back around tomorrow. Final surprise, and it's gonna be some kind of... Some kind of deception. Morning, 6 at night. Mm -hmm. Back around tomorrow. Wait until 8 o'clock. The next day. Alright! And the truth comes out. Do need to check around the rim of Fontaine, I suppose, and she is not here. Okay. Alright. So we just gotta check. So what kind of perfidy? How is that suspicious camera manufacturer gonna come into play here? That's the question. And oh, we got lots of spots over here. We can see some other photographs too. Jade Mouth and the Lotus Spawn. So ours are the ones being shown right now. You've made it. So that's... Other Mountains. Total of eight works. Iteration, half of those are yours. Wow. That's crazy. Four out of four. Something four out of eight. Petition. Great appreciations for your other two works. Petition Arch on your Trek. Commemorative photo album. All the selected works. You have earned it. It's amazing. Oh, nice. Chen Yu amidst the clouds, Wang Jing. So just other characters, then. That would be from the West, then, showing Mondstadt. Let's see a little bit of Mondstadt. These are old photos, and I'm sure they're never going to be updated, even when they add new areas up north. Tasting Adeptus, okay. Tea tasting Adeptus? Huh. It's on and on. It's me! It's me! It's me! It's still me! Long above the wharf. Anonymous. Okay, I really like this. Composition with uh, using the tunnel to frame everything and ancient teacher king, Stesiphon. It's a very Greek sounding name, so I'm wondering if that would be Fontaine or if it would have been Mondstadt. Who knows? Thank you some more up from the game for participating, this time on a personal level, my hometown being this place. If you will fall in love with it, thank you. There we go. Chenuvale Sites, our Chenuvale Trek album. Over half were taken by the same person. Well, over half? It's exactly half. Fun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mid edition commemorative photo album. In that case, maybe I'll check out the lower part of Chenuvale to see if. That might be where you want to go to. There are more quests down here, maybe? Let's see. How far can we go into the water? So that's just the elevators. How's it? Okay. In that case, keep on looking around and see if maybe something might happen in some of those caves we went to before is part of the main world quest line. That is the real question. Okay, so we got one of those over there. We got another one over that way. The cave through there. Let's just try that out then. So as of now, no other quests have obviously presented themselves. Go back in here and... Nothing obvious shows up. Don't need any more jades, either. I feel like checking out... Maybe the previous location of the rain jade, or the previous... place where the mural was before it might come up with something? I'm not sure. The, ra the vote of rain jade was previously here. But... Doesn't always say that much. 
So what else? Where else would I go? Over there. Right, it was down in this little cavern. There was... That mural. Should maybe be repaired by now, at the very least. I'm sure that same thing like Arnyaka will get a little achievement for having found it. We'll see. By the way, the moment of truth will come up relatively soon, and well, we'll figure that out. Is the mural recomplete? And it's not. Maybe if we went back to Yandie, we could actually put it back where it originally belonged. Who knows? There is a significant part of me with an interest in fixing that up again. What can I say? What can I say? I've already knocked on most of those jars and taken their contents, so nothing really the moment. Depths repose, and is that still interactable? That's the real question. Let's see. Come on, come on. Got... It's not interactable anymore. Okay. In that case... I have to wheel away one more short time. So I don't know, maybe next year. I don't know, maybe they'll they'll just do two years between new relay areas, because still got everything down here, which is probably gonna be a little bit of Black Cliff Forge, maybe. Especially now that they've got their hands on you know, got their fingers wrapped around making underground areas. We'll see. Because uh, maybe next year, what they could do around this time is add Temple Silence and Samara or something. After not one stuff. Dealing Sands, Chili Con Cloudy, and the Roaming Abode. Chili Con Cloudy. It's sad, there's part of me that wonders whether that might actually be. So that starts in another part of Leeway instead of. I don't know. By the way, there are three more teleport waypoints to get, and if we get a quest notification while we're around one of them, well, there's our answer. We will have found our answer. See the gate to the place now. That's fun. We put Shenha back in the party. Shizhong wall is very, very conspicuous, I will say. There's no way that it isn't at least in part related to one of the quests. Maybe. We'll see. Oh my goodness. Well, out of my way. We're just going to keep on moving. Oh, well. Clearly something is here. Diffuser inscription. Yeah, okay, I'll be back here soon enough. So we got another little set of rooms over there and another teleport waypoint. So how many of these rooms am I going to have to go around to actually get all this through? That is the real question. Oh, another. It's going to be Chijong Wall. Well, yeah, it is. Okay. Go and, oh, it's sunset too. Oh, and you can see Tower of Obsissimus and the Maritime Harbor there too. That's funny. Well, unfortunately, the Tower of Obsissimus is long gone, so it's not accurate. Foothill Shrines added to the archive. Let's check that out. You went on annoying. We weigh and. Tales told by older folks, ancestral peoples migrated here from the far south. Mighty ritual tower touched the heavens. Far south. Many mighty natural tower, mighty temples. Ritual tower, towers no more. Someone ancient ruins. Sand amidst the thick frog that shreds the mountains, watching over a secret none now shall know. Unless, unless you find it. Tea tree slope and the upper vale. Where the tower might have been. We're drawing up the clouds and Jade Tower. Hmm. 
maybe over here, but the far south. I wonder if they might have meant this area over here, and that's meant to be foreshadowing. Or maybe they just meant the chasm. That could also be very possible if it's... Because I know that... Chenyu Vale in general is based on Cantonese-speaking parts of China. And I don't know whether they have anything in particular specifically to do with Mongolia, because that's what the chasm is generally based on. So why they make some references to horseback archery in the chasm lore. I don't know. We'll see. We're going to... Go to that other teleport waypoint and hopefully find our way to a quest. There's that other part down in the south. I'm wondering what that might be. Well, we got this swanee over here. Well, you know, if I had made use of this, I would have been able to fight the swanee a lot more easily, but... So they add someone else who actually needs to fight the Swanee, which, frankly, I don't think is going to happen anytime soon. It's not like it really matters. So, yeah. Should not order the mountains, so... Maybe that's Linkuan. Maybe it isn't. Frankly, that isn't quite my concern right now. Go down south and lock the last teleport waypoint and see what we find along the way. One of these, okay. Three is Yon's obese. Well, you know... I don't have time for you right now. I can't... I can't hold space for you right now. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take on these enemies with the greatest weapon in the world. Therapy speak. Hmm. Okay. Well, can't see that mountain over there. It is kind of a bit lower down, too. I think. We have another one of those Snow stones. That was the, that was only the term they used in in Kanamiya, I think. Let's see. So what is well, whatever. I don't really mind. Over there. Final teleport waypoint and see if quest ends up showing up. Okay. Just plunge and push that up, and that part over there is... Okay, it's this lake which was accessible before when they added Samaru, but what is... It's over there. What I really wonder, honestly, is whether that section over there is going to count as Chenyu Vale or is Samaru. The sort of boundary of Samaru is going to be Chenyu's measure. Nice. So we got this. And teleport waypoints in Chenyu Vale. We're getting closer and closer and closer. Let's just go over there, get that, and... Still Southern Mountain. Come over this way, what are we gonna get? Well, this is... Still Southern Mountain. Interesting, well... Still. So it marks the boundary line between here and Wei Wei. I mean, here in Sumero. Go up there and... Ooh, ooh. Hmm. Let's check this out and... Go up top and... So this is back in Wokapala. That is the answer to our question. It doesn't really appear like there's anything of significance here either. Okay. Guys, Samara music is playing. Stand and clap. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like there's actually anything of note here. And I'll go back eventually, but for now, I think... We will just go back to Chijong Wall. Let's see what we can get done there. Chijong Wall. Hello, hello, hello. Hazuyo? Well, just like that, we can hit you and... Okay, we can knock that out. Good stuff, and... Do we get... Fav or not? 
Weird. Whatever. Hi. Come on, come on. And... Easy enough. Okay. Weird. This thing's still light on fire, though. Interesting. And you over there? Well, get that. Light up some of these ruined torches. See what'll happen at the end of this. Okay. Thank you. Losing health every single time we do it, but who minds really? Okay. How many more? Well, we got one over there. This elemental site would be a good way to keep track of. Okay, the last one is just right there. Okay. And there we go. Nice. Gonna get anything from this as part of the quest, or okay? Nothing. Right. Let's just see. A bit over there, a bit over here. Investigate. Tiny bit of Mora. And this is. This is the Ancestors 1. Mountain Beasts saw ourselves doomed to encounter the great Adeptus, be to be on worlds. Sun named Wing. Wing you on? They're seen. Magnificent poise and appraises would be significant. Purchase Fujin has I too. Jade of Fortune descended to bind it, prevent wicked spirits from plundering. For it here, you shall live at peace to await. Seal this per the Adeptus' commands. So that other piece we got from Carp's Rest might be relevant here. Possibly. So we'll see what's inside this area. Let's see it isn't budging at all. Oh, wow. Another jade inside there, too. Interesting. Well, all right. Well, we got stuck on the little lip there. Don't like that. Come on, come on. Oh, please. Go up this way and... thought for a second that it might have been breakable, and it was not. Shame. And we can... on top of this part over here. So much we can do before the quest actually starts. Hmm. Let's see what this is. But... Huh. Another one over there. So we can move that. Okay. Interesting. And yeah. it's going to, oh, it's gonna keep moving in every direction. So the only way to do it is to take advantage of that movement. Let's see the J down there. Okay. Well what's on top? Top of that spot. Wait, did that not actually light up? Okay, I guess not. Weird. It is funny that, I guess it is kind of, kind of Fujin's Mountain now. You know, Fujin's Mountain is sort of next to all these, but a bit below. And I think that has a bit of symbolic resonance, considering how she sees herself in relation to the Voyun Adepti. Moon Carver, Mount Shaper, Cloud Retainer, and then you, funny little fish. Okay. Let's just see. Do I look at that up there? Maybe. Curious. Curious. Is that one done or oh? Do I need to? Maybe you need to actually activate them both at the same time, or it won't work. It's certainly possible. Okay, cool. We will just. Hmm. So we'll home in. We should wait till it reaches the end, and then... Yep, it'll... There we go, we got it. Let's open this chest and see what happens. Oh, we got more treasure. That's not nothing. Is it the she? Let's just actually start the quest now. Sure. That carp in there. Let's see how... There we go, we can... We couldn't entirely spin around. Let's find a fuser inscription and. Isn't the jade at dawn and glorious halls at dusk? The please spirits descend, pleased, pleased. How poetic do they want us to do it? Send with fortune and blessings eternal. Jade at dawn, glorious halls at dusk. Scent of orchards, fragrance of flower. 
Jade College written Golden Goblet, fragrance wafting towards the east, burning incense towards the west. Reorient myself. That was the one up wafting towards the east. Okay, so those are just gonna stay glowing, I think. I'm burning incense. Cauldron, golden goblet. Build an altar for sacrifice, sweet wine libation, and imbibation. Shining brightly for thousands of years, illuminating all directions. Hmm. Okay. In that case. It's gonna show us the spots. Wait, wait. East and west. Okay. What do we have to do here? East over here is. I guess we're just gonna have to look through everything until we find it. All right. When you are oh sea laser. Ah, okay. I think it. Okay. Smash stone in here. Good amount of exploration. Let's see if we can scout up here and okay, nothing to read, just a bit of that. Go over and beat these guys up. Hello. Hello. It's like this, just like that. Hi. And smash into you and smash into you. Oh, well that didn't hit you. Okay. Come on. It's like that, and let's see we be free now. I might have been able to free it already anyway. Well, whatever. One over there, one over there too. What's gonna happen? Now we got Valley Residence Tranquility. Free you, and over by that tree. Hop over, and hi. Hello. Oh. There we're gonna meet up immediately. Okay, you're gonna take a much more direct path then. Ah, cool, cool, cool. Go down here. Oh, and you were gonna leave me that smashed stone originally as well. That's nice. I like Paimon. I actually kind of like Sealy's. Kind of. And go inside here, and will anything present itself? Okay, an exquisite chest. Oh, a fillet blade. Not that I need it, but still appreciate it. Let's go and level up a few more of these Navi artifacts. Come on, come on. Good damage, and attack is already there. Let me attack. Do it as evenly as possible. I need to read the artifacts. The lore for these artifacts, anyway, the new ones, because I know that, call correctly, He's right to Anders Dotir, who's one of the Hexen Circle witches. Along with Alice and Barbaloth and all that jazz. So, where would the east? So that, oh, I think that's actually down here. It's all kind of connected physically. It's not due east, but it is in the east. Let's go down this way and see what we can find. Come on, come on. Yep, another one of those little pagodas. Oh, and what? Oh, well, maybe this. This looks suspicious. I feel like that might be a cave eventually. Well, okay. Come on. Let's beat up these guys already before something else happens. Because, after all, getting all plungy is a good way to do things right now. Hi. Right. Okay, cool, cool. Nice, just like that. We got you out of the way. Cool. And nobody immediately seems to be fightable right now. For the funny helicopter noises. Keep on looking, keep on looking. Should be able to get the rest of this done before I hop off today. It doesn't even seem like a real quest, just an exploration objective. What happens if we light this on fire? Didn't hear anything though. Mm -mm. Alright. Go down and see what and who we can place and where. You. Weird. Maybe here? So we've got multiple location options. 
Well, maybe, maybe, maybe. Well, whatever. This way, maybe? Huh. I think eventually we'll get to see a previously excellent version of this location and tell us something more, maybe? We'll see. It's just, what am I supposed to find and where am I supposed to place it? Well, we can sneak around into this spot from, wait, can we or can't we? No, we're left off. Weird. Maybe if I put it in here, it'll open that. This pillar is more of a keystone than anything else? Maybe. Yep! Okay, my my first instinct was correct. Nice. You take that. So that kind of matches. It is kind of a like matches like. So put that there. Nothing? Okay. Put this here. Will it open up the other? And... Maybe not. Oh, so that one moved, and now this one is... That one... Not, not me to do that. I put this there, and... Wait. Move this to a real proper location. That and there, okay, and that seems to be correct. Open up this one. Other piece, okay. So starting with one, getting a second, and then moving on to three. Getting a third from the end, and then... So every gate requires others to match up, it seems. Now I think I understand. Well, okay. Let's just void some of these. That's the real arch, okay. Well, let's see what happens when we set all of these up. Okay, cool. Come on, come on. One of those there. Got a broken wing one, we got a pillar, and we got an arch. I feel like the arch is going to go over here. Just a hunch. Wait, actually... No, the arch would go over this way. Get a line up with that. Okay, then, check with the other one, should unlock that and the chest. And, oh, well, it's too close. It's too close to me, so it's not actually. Now that's setting the shape. That over there, and put this one at the end, and should be it. There we go. It's completed this piece of ancient architecture, and it's evidenced by the fact that they won't move anymore. Investigate. Block of wood smells so nice. What's it used for anyway? Huang Kong. Fragrant wood. Ceremonial rites. Light fragrance. Another piece to complement this one. And we can open this precious chest, get a bit more stuff. Clearly we just go around the other way, but this is so suspicious. I feel like we're going to end up going <laughs> under there eventually. Maybe. Hopefully. Would be pretty cool. Over there, and back to that spot over that way, maybe? I hope we can get there like this, too, and you know what? Maybe I will. Maybe I will put in Ganyu very briefly, depending on how this <sighs> challenge works. This isn't going to summon slimes, yeah, this is just going to summon barrels. So I guess it's Ganyu time. I can only see one right now, so I assume that once we swap up one, we'll make more show up. We'll see. Come on. One and... One. Two. A few more. Got a good amount of time for this, too. It's a pretty generous hitbox for that. Is someone trying to get me now? I hope not. Come on. Six and... Oh, all right there. And so many kinds of barrels. Oh, my goodness. And now you're doing your thing. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Let me... Shoot you. Oh my goodness. Can't keep missing. Can't afford to keep missing. Can't afford to keep missing. Okay, hit. There we go. Okay, thank you, Ganyu. Long time no Ganyu. Long time no Ganyu. There we go. And that's all done. I do like a lot that they had pretty much every kind of explosive barrel there. It's funny. 
I wonder which would have been the right one to shoot it first. Because the kinds of barrels they have are... They do have of every kind except Animo, I think. New technically have Geo barrels now. They have Dendro barrels, I'm pretty sure. I know they have Pyro, Hydro, Electro, and Cryo, but... Let's put Shenta back in the party and get whatever that is out of the way. I wonder if that Ruin Guard will eventually respawn to Ruin Cruiser. So actually, maybe we actually want Ganyu in the party? Maybe. Actually, no. They'll stay on ground as long as we don't. We have ground ourselves. Let's just have them... Hopefully have them approach? Sure. There we go. As a yo, today. Go on and side of course. Good, nice. We can just plunge over there and side of and come on and hit that. Please, please, please. And hit. Oh, goodness. I messed up that plunge. Please. And where are you? Where are you? Okay, come on. Hit, hit. There we go. Vaporize. And is that going to make the other one show up or. Tap. Kick it. Well, there you go. And there's our answer. Oh, what? Huh? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I can't do anything like this. Time to run. Oh, good lord. Yeah, use your beam, why don't you? Oh, fire? No, it didn't even know it could do fire. Oh, whatever. Gandhi comes back. Put Gandhi back in the party. I didn't even think we were high up, but I guess since we were airborne during that plunge, it made it ascend. Well, whatever. In that case, we will pester you from a safe distance. And, okay. Oh, do I have to kick it again? Let's see. Just to activate it. Yeah, it does seem like I have to do it all over again. Actually, no. Well, whatever. And plunge over there, and are you gonna go up high, or... What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Take to the sky, or... Come on. Take to the sky. Go up high. Go up high. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. Come on. Shoot. There we go. Falling down, and... Okay, we did manage to dodge one of them, but not all of them. Okay, well, keep shooting. Keep on shooting. See if... You know what? You know what? Swirl, swirl real quick. And that would mean a little bit more damage from you. And not that much. It's not like Kaze. Okay, that's down, and that's open now. Okay. Well, Shona comes back. Her lovely new outfit. Okay. Keep on going, and let's see what is down inside there. There's a chest in there, but... That, oh, another piece we needed to get to complete the architecture. Okay, Yumona. Shenha does have the same voice actress as Saber from Fate in the Japanese dub. Kawasumi Ayako. Which, I mean, it's just a fun fact, but I think it's a pretty fun fact. A sworn key, Chenuve, looks like it could still be used. Well, let's mark that later. Cool. So when we actually find the key, we'll be able to figure out something to do with it. That's just... Okay, what's that over there? Is that... Oh, that's just the rest one key. Yeah. Well, okay. That was certainly anticlimactic. Not necessarily in a bad way, but... Okay. I oh, didn't get a... Spirit Carp. Cool. Put down the other half of the arch. Where would the archway be? Would it be... Oh! I think this might actually complete it. Oh! Now that is satisfying. Just like a Snickers. Last one is down this way. I'll look for it. I think we got a smashed stone to find. 
Hello. You're not relevant. Uh, should be one more. And I think I saw it and just forgot about it in my infinite stupid... Okay, this will open it up. Particles within 120 seconds. Okay, so this will clearly lead me back to the original location. Hi. And, wait, what? Oh, so we have to activate that and that'll send us around in a loop. Back to previous relevant location. Cool. And just like that, and... Hi. Oh, and it unlocks the chest and also sends around the other way. So I guess we could have actually... It's gone in through the side, but doing that little challenge gives us an additional reward, so it was worth it in the end, I would say. Hi. And... Now we got that. Another piece of wood, and... Just over there. Chijong. Fragrant wood, so... Different colors, too, I think. Yep. Sort of brownish maroon one and a golden yellow one. Something... White fragrance and something burnt. What to come this one? Okay. So burning brazier in the west, because that's what was burnt. Fragrant in the east, which is why it was well fragrant. Okay. Well, time to return back and see if we can make an offering with the wood blocks we got. Cool. Go back. User inscription, Jaded Dawn to Glorious Halls at Dusk, Eternal East and West, Altar for Sacrifice, Offer Incense, Shin Libation, This, Fragrant Wood. Oh, so it's basically an incensed piece of wood. Ah, okay. Well, that's open. Let's see what's inside here. That made some crystal flies show up. West and Altar. All directions. So what is going to be here then? What kind of a war bomb are we going to get when we go inside this place? Frankly, what's that jade? Well, clearly, we've got a ruin crater to fight. Hi. Well, it seems like you're not going to wake up until we go around a little further, probably to the chest, and then it... Oh, it closes down behind us. And closes down behind us and says, time to fight. Yep, exactly. Should have known. It's interesting though. Not like that, not like that. Come on, come on, and... Oh, please. And just like this, we can scroll that, get that back, and... Guess we'll send in... You? Cool. Nice. Oh, good damage too. Hi. Nice, nice, and... Come on, in my way. That is more damage than I expected from you. Weird. Actually, less, but... Okay, well, alright. It's actually not that. Kind of funny. Shut up. I this for so long, yet. Yeah, this is stronger, seems to be shiny. Could be because... Oh, so I can't actually damage it. And... Oh, it just blows it up. Okay. It works too. Interesting. So I guess it's some sort of the anti-abyss properties of celestial jade. Action jade pendant. Typical energy similar to that of Mount Lysian and the floating jade. Two veins, activation mechanism, critical component is missing. It cannot be used. I have to find the other piece then. Hmm. Okay. So I wonder whether the other piece would be in Mount Lysian or somewhere else. It's worth checking. So the other one was in Carp's Rest. Maybe it might be above in the waters? Maybe. We'll see. I guess in that case I'll... Maybe drop down. Can I pull it up like that before? I guess I can. Okay. Back into Carp's Rest. Now that works, and okay, the barrier is gone. That is worth noting. 
Come on, come on. This is where we were before initially. Here before, it just sent us back. We found that one piece of that jade mechanism. Adaptable energy, same stone, join them together at Jade Fragment right. So I'm wondering where the Jade Fragment left would be. Hmm. Already been here. Maybe it's a reward for the rain jade, I really don't know. Either way, I think I will poke a bit more around Mount Lijin. And maybe... I have 12 more minutes before I reach the time I wanted to hit today, so we'll see. It's that little portion down there. Little circle. I feel like maybe it could show up if we beat up the enemies around here. Possibly. There's this. There's this. Oh, we got Mimics. Interesting. Well. Well. Alright. Maybe that waterfall would open up if we got an Adeptal Mechanism that could do it. Possibly. But there's also more Miasma here, right? By this, by this big piece of Jade. And I feel like that might be relevant in some way. Alright. Now, oh, interesting, and oh, hi. All right, do your thing, I guess. Come on, and just to you got your thing going, and okay, hi. Swirl and plunge. Okay, cool. Nice and out of my. Okay, well, I guess you could hit me too. Come on, and oh wow, so we can't dash here. Goodbye. And what is next? What is next here? We got all these. Simulacra. What is actually up here? We have to beat up more enemies around the mountain. It's just. This is strange. Hmm. Maybe I'll go and do that time trial real quick and see if that makes something happen? Maybe. Weird. The chest in 30 seconds. Okay. Alright. There and... Get that. It's just... It's in lots of... Confusing things. Okay. Maybe that might just be where... Local legends show up eventually. Who really knows at this point? Who really knows at this point? Okay. It's just so strange. Yeah, because not you guys. These two simulacra. But nothing else immediately comes to mind. Weird. It's the direction they're pointing. Well, these lead up this way. That also. Oh, well, seems more showed up now. Hi. We're there, and... Come on. Like that, and... Oh, that just homes in. Interesting. And... Oh, we got that. Another sign of lack showed up. So maybe we need to... Oh, that says hit. Sun begins to descend in the sky, adorned with... Okay, so that does seem to be a reference. I'll mention the sun. Sun and moon and jade and... So I, th I would think that the way we have to do this is... Wait for the sun to descend the sky. Wait for sunset. Maybe. Okay, well, alright. Go over here, we're gonna hit you. And now we're gonna plunge or not, maybe. Okay, hi. 
Come on, come on. Just one shy one. Oh, out of my way, out of my way, out of my way, out of my way. And you need a bit more of that. So where is the remainder? Over here. Oh, that's just... Come on. Over that way. Put you. Just a bit more. Goodbye. Goodbye. And you. You. Interesting. So when the sun starts to descend, what will happen? Frankly, what this reminds me of is sun song stuff in until afternoon, just so. It's going to be adorned with, so I guess the jade will show up there. When we get that. So do you have anything to say? That's the real question. No, you don't. Until afternoon, just so. So just afternoon? Either way, it's definitely going to make that jade appear. Yeah, you get the fire arrows by shooting the arrow at the sun. Like highly at a certain location. Stand here. In this spot. Till afternoon. So. Sunset. Sunset. Kind of like the one where you have to see a sunset in Fontaine. And. Okay. It's just. Wait. It begins to descend in the sky. So maybe it has to be just noon. It's as close as we possibly can to noon and then afternoon. And then we can wait a little bit, get that other jade, and get a little treasure from that wall area. Uh, maybe we'll have to sell that, like, when we get from Pillars of Peace. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's over there. It's to descend the sky adorned with, adorned with jade. Till afternoon, just so. Over there we have another simulacrum waiting. Do you gotta wonder what's up with all this? Just so. Specific spot seems very, very conspicuous. Well, you know, we can wait with our good old friend Gaming and for all to come down. Just wait a few minutes and something is bound to happen. Sun begins to descend in the sky. So time, time, time. 12.54. Okay, so it's passing relatively quickly. That's good. For passage of time. Passage of time. Come on, come on. Hmm. Huh. Well, well. Okay, so I can see the sun. Where's the jade? Where's my jade? In 21. Till afternoon, just so. Don't look at it? I think we'd have to shoot it. Doesn't say anything about that. You can see it actively falling. So where does it have to pass in order to actually make whatever's supposed to happen here happen? It's with some of the glare you can just see. The bright dot in the middle. Hmm. Come on, come on. Mount Elijah. Oh, there we go! If you wait in silence for some time, secret miracle. And hit sky adorned with. Oh. Interesting. Did that do anything anywhere else, or? Discover the secret of the jade in Mount Elijah. Gonna get another piece of the. So I guess that really was just stuff, essentially. So if the jade is around here, we might have to 
do a bit more hunting. Yep. And just so... Okay, well. Got our chest. That right there is... 40 rolls already saved up for Chiri. What I wonder is... We get over here. Will... The local legend spawn in here. I'm pretty sure they're in that legend. We an okay way to finish things off. Come on, come on. Are you gonna show up? It's not gonna happen. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, so they really are just a couple of simulacra there for some indiscernible reason. Hi. Oh, hello. Interesting. And um, you're right over here. Come on. And I guess physical will do it kind of okay. Come on. Come on. And get that and let's see. Plunge, and of course it was just through an element. Whatever. Come on. And oh multiple. Lots of you over here. This is clearly going to Well, so jump up through that once we actually get it. Hello, hello. Hit and plunge. Go oh, vaporize. Oh, that actually didn't even do it. Weird. Well, alright. Knock you down and Oh! Okay. This little jumping puzzle activated by this one? Yeah, it does. That's good. Down here, up here, and okay, another one of Cyglacra. What is this gonna do? Okay, it just makes a conversation. Show up. So many weird things going on here. Well, maybe we'll go and kill those hydromimics and uh, practice this thing with Xing Zhao. Sure. Come on. Plunge and well, a lot of you were hit. That's good. And hit. Come on. Plunge, vaporize that. Okay, that worked. Only a few, and go across. The swords to get it as well. There we go. Nice hydro application, and... This was the chest. Hmm. Wonder is, how am I gonna get... Jade? Maybe it's on the side there. I'm gonna try a little bit one, once more before I entirely give up the ghost. Okay. Sort of feeling regardless. So over on the side there was this little offshoot and a little branch. I want to see if that might do it. Just a little hunch. Just a hunch. Mm -hmm. up there is... we got a few violet grass. Okay, well, not that I needed it, but... Come on, come on. This way, go that way. Okay. There's that one other piece down there. I'm very curious as to what that might actually hold, and doesn't seem like anything. Okay, fine. Sanyalagra. Over by what seems to be Mount Lysian. Yeah, it's just one other piece of jade. One other piece of jade. Hmm. Well, suppose maybe I will retire for today after getting that one spin crystal up top. Yeah, you know, it was busy today, I think. It's calmed down, but it was nice. There was a, it's a good rapport going. Just leave that for. Wait, what? Is there something down there? Maybe. No. No. Okay. 
All right. Okay. So sooner or later that Jade will turn up and I can finish up whatever's inside here. Actually, real quick. Is there a chunk left courtyard? And it doesn't appear like there's something I can check in there, so... For now, I will return to Sumeru, where I usually peace out these days, and yeah. Thank you to everyone who watched today, and everyone who didn't. Ah, <sighs> good times as always. Sayonara, Vigan.